Sorry for the holdup, I was having family dinner. So it's time to go through a bit more of Kaelid and ideally right back here at the Cathedral of Dragon Communion where I messed up and got my rear kicked by a giant crow a little bit around here, which means I might need to get more rune arcs soon, but I think I'll stay. Sally is over here. Around this way is another question, but... Hmm. Interesting. Much to think about. Got... Should be another Dread and Communion Banished Knight around here, so... Let's backstab this guy real quick to get him out of the way, just in case. But... Celia... Celia... Celia, Celia... One, two... There we go! Good old piercing damage. Go on, retrieve my rune stain before I forget about it. It was just a giant crow over there that I tried using gravity well to test what effect gravity well would have, and it did nothing. So, question is: I don't think I want to go straight to a red main today. Is the thing got? So, yeah, the question is, how I want to demarcate, actually what I could do, is I could go all the way up to the Great Bridge and then just turn back and go to Celia and then the Swamp or something. Big thing about the Swamp is, as I was saying, there's going to be a lot of rot there. I'm going to want to use the horse for that. Hmm. I got rune stain, so now we just have to deal with. I don't really need gravity well. But that said, I'm not using other things to the point where I'd want to switch it out for something like. Actually, oh well, we. That did not quite work. I didn't think they would pay attention to my existence. Okay. Come on, and. Oh well. Oh, come on. Got to be kidding. So let me hit you. Thanks. And boom. One more. Thank you. Goodbye. I. The big thing is that what this dying to that crow last time, what that tells me is I should be a lot more willing to use buffs. Just taking down standard enemies, frankly. Is that 20% extra damage is... Oh, oh, thank you for noticing, because I did not. There I, there I am. There I am. Hajime Mashten, Shikozu. How are you doing? It's good to see you. How was the system of a down listening? Just gonna look around this way. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, are, are you okay now? Were you permanently and severely injured, or... Oh, okay, well, if it was a good thing, then it's a good thing, I suppose. But... That is... And I do not want to overpromise and underdeliver. But... The guy Dom, who comes on for... Stuff like Dokapon, who I did Minecraft... Oh, were you... Outdoors, System of a Down listening. That's... A new idea to me, but not a bad one. But, as I was saying, he's a system of a down guy, too. And I... Eventually, I feel... Like, doing a cover of something like Toxicity could be fun. Something like that. Oh! It's just rain, or lightning, too? Or maybe just wind and no rain. And one... For another... Oh, wow. Yeah, that... Sounds ambient. And... Hmm. These stupid, stupid crows. Okay. Understandable. Well, just don't don't be next to a large tree. That's all I'd say. The snubbing spell is. Oh, okay, okay. Take your time. Come on. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh. Okay, there. We okay. Ooh, all right. What's happening? What went on? And did I? Okay, that was almost, that was almost death. 
but it was not death. Okay. Thank you, thank you. And will that be... Oh, we got a lot of flasks back from that. That was good. Question is... Actually, no, that wouldn't have been death. This is just some kind of... Some kind of hole in... Was there a crystal tier there that I got before, or... On my way down through Kaled? I get the feeling that that is what happened, but... I've been to... How many minor urgeries? How many tiers should I have? I... I think it would have been Windy and Opaline. I think I got those from here. Well, whatever. It's not all that important. Most important thing is not dying. So. Is this. Sure. Flame Grammy Strength for when I run into more of those giant crows. Hmm. This is. Certainly something of that over there is Selly, a town of sorcery. Oh, is this the appearance of the giant scroll on the giant scroll skull on the world map, or huh? So the question is whether I can actually get on the cliff edge or not. We'll see what happens. So, huh? How am I going to do this? Got more birds around here, but this down here is the desert. I will eventually fight Radon. It'd be funny if I could see Radon from here, but that does not seem to be the case. But beyond all those ruins over there, those little scattered bits of various things are. I believe where he shows up initially. Okay. So can I get up top here? I think I can, but there's a giant. Okay. Huh. Oh, come on. How am I going to get over here if at all? Ooh! Big explosive magic pot. That is not good. Question is, time for nest. Go over here and take down visions of ranged battle. Oh, well, I... Maybe I don't want to go there right now. Zoomly, in order to get to that part, I would need to... Whoop around from the other side of the cliff. Most likely. Hmm. And this area, Celia, is going to get me a lot of good sorcery related items, so that's exciting. So, uh, oh, but that big old troll is not fun to deal with. Well, I may as well swoop in and dig out these marionettes while I have the opportunity. Thank you. Oh, that was good. Not thank you. Hmm. Didn't quite work because it it's seen. The one that I managed to hit and kill in one shot, I killed in one shot because I had not yet been detected. That makes sense, but still. And all right. Oh come on. Hate this. Avoiding those giant pots. I need the item through here. Glass shard, and... Oh, but it killed that dragonfly for me. It's funny. And this weird blue smoldering magical fire. Either way, around here we have Celia Gateway. Stop by the shack. Should be where... Gowrie or Gori is... However you pronounce that name. Well, this looks to be... Opportunity to take this dog down from a distance. Thank you. Thanks. Alright, cool. Huh. Charging did not do nearly as much as I expected it to. Alright. Hello, Gowry. Where then Gowry Shack? Be wary of bug. See, is a kindred of rock. Hello. Mm -hmm. Ilk. Scarred Swamp of Aeonia. Find recompense? Except. Secret of Celia, the town you see there. Okay. Wanda Hand. Certain. Millicent, Beyond Celia, Church of the Cliff. Church of the Plague. 
has no cure, demigods cannot stay about its effects, and high godhood can be ameliorated with a certain needle. Scarlet outside Sally's bounds, and I would go the last summer there. And I would go needle, deep scarlet swamp, tell you probably the secret of the town. Oh, this. Okay. Alright. Hmm. Let's make our way in and down. How am I going to make this work? Should be a side of grace nearby, presumably. Wire materials and to get up there, though. Wondering how I would do that. Appears there's something, so I feel compelled. Hmm. Oh, and a really, really, really big scarab. Fun. And I. Uh, hmm. Okay. Another blast. Slow enough that it's no issue. Thank you. Let's just go in, activate the grace. Get out of here and. Yeah, there is a grace somewhere, but. Don't quite recall where it is. Oh, I think it's. Is it a grace or just a stake of America? There's something in here. But I don't quite recall. At least, I'm not taking that much damage. And, you know, a glitstone firefly for those who care. For those who partake. Oh, but anything up here or safety stealth ahead. That said, it's not as if those guys are all that much trouble to deal with, but... The more cautious I am, the better, but... Oh, it's that steak of America, presumably. More than anything else. But can I get in, in one of these spots by way of... No, it does not seem like it. Okay. Climbable spot, but that is it. So actually, if we wanted to really do stuff around Celia, the best thing to do would probably be... Oh my, okay, that was lag. Opening things up with, oh come on, I, okay, what in the, oh, that was weird. There is something to do with the loading zone around this area that is making this lag like the dickens. Okay. Cuckoo Glintstone. Cuckoo Glintstone, the big thing is that I can ride the horse through the swamp without having to worry about rot, which is very, very nice. Can I... Okay. I hear a... Scarab of some sort around here. That's the thing. Is it in there? It's probably up top. We'll get something. We'll see. Hmm. It's hard to tell. Hard to see. But right here we do have a grace for the way into Celia. A couple of avionettes around. We'll be fine. And right, I do have Lion's Claw in here. That is correct. Celia under stairs, Celia town of sorcery. We'll come back here after I go through the swamp, probably go through the nearby mining tunnel, and probably work my way up to the impassable Grey Bridge. But there, I think there should be another dungeon around. So I'm actually going to take my time here. But over somewhere in the swamp, I think around this way. Maybe it's actually. No, I think it's actually right. Around here, maybe? The big thing is that there's a mini-boss fight against- Oh, free rune arc. That was exciting. Oh my goodness. Against Commander O'Neill, which should give me... Uh, the unallied gold needle to complete that quest line and fix stuff up with Millicent, so I- Where is that thing going? What can I- Oh my goodness. Hopefully this shouldn't last all that long, but I- <clears throat> How can I catch up with this? Can I catch up with it, or...? I feel like something like... Uh... Flame of Frenzy would be my best option. In order to... Catch it in a big AoE or something like that, but we'll see. I'll make sure that I... Can I... Uh, please. Wait until... In the end... I can wait around, wait for it to come past the... Mmm to approach me again and hit it along the way, because this invisible scarab is... annoying. Uh, huh? Okay. Is that from there or from what? Try attacking around here, presumably. 
This should be a place where it crosses multiple times, then it ro Never mind, I messed that up again. Hmm. Multiple spots where it just gets all- Oh, please. This is a multi-crossing. But I- hmm. There we finally go. Poison armament. That poison trail behind it too. Servants of Rot. Dwell within poison, no run all too well. Death that begets life comes so equally. That is to say, cycle of rebirth put into practice. Okay. There's walls over there by Salia, the invisible magic barriers that will cause me some trouble. Thank you, thank you. One, ooh, my goodness. Alright, wait, what? Huh? Oh my, what, what? Oh my lord, what in the. What the hell? Huh? That didn't even make sense. What? What? Well, at least I'm right here, but that is another rune arc that I have to pop. That really, really sucked. No, seriously, that... Sucked to an almost unprecedented degree. And just getting stun-locked by that. The fact that I couldn't roll in the Rot Swamp when it was that deep, but the... Marionettes seemed plenty mobile. It didn't seem to impede them. Huh? I don't know what just happened here. Which means I'm going to have to... Stitch this bod together on my own time, good god. It's so stupid. Well, let's go for a plunging attack and see how this will work. And thanks, thanks, thanks. Mm, but the auto target is so finicky here. That's a thing. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what's up with this stupid bullshit connection. It. Dad, it's the cable of the Wi Fi antenna, but. I'm wondering how I could actually. It was a positioning thing. Okay. So, what I did is I had it covering up where the empty socket ports in order to cover things, and. That was an issue. Hmm. Let's figure this out. How do I want to handle the enemies up here? Oh, hi, huh? Well, actually, yep. Get you when you're starting your spear charge. We can just get a completely open hit on you. That worked quite well. It's going to be at the top of this spot over here. That's the big question. And then, was there actually nothing here at all? That, okay. All right then. Oh, here, a treasure chest right over this way. That's good news. And then what's in here we have, oh, the arrow of sting talisman, and that increases attack power of arrows and bolts. Three iron arrows, soldiers long ago, but, so I guess this would just be a way to peek over and see. That arrow sting, if you got kind of turned around. Ladder. I hardly know. Back down. I actually just drop down here without having to worry about damage, but... Praise the right. Thought I didn't have the right. I think down there. Hmm. Keep on looking. I know that Gravitas is over here. I mean, not Gravitas, but Cragboy. Which is good, but not something I particularly want or need. So is there anyone over here, and are they chasing me, or...? I think the red mains are busy fighting those rot dogs. Alright. Mushroom ahead, and... Yeah, six mushrooms for... Presumably they use those for throwing pots. What is interesting is that... Partially the DLC implied it, but it's also something you could probably surmise just with the base game. That the reason mushrooms are used to make throwing pots is because they mimic the rotten, the sort of flesh of 
slain creatures that is inside the living jars from before, like Jar Baron and the equivalents. Oh, come on. How do I want to make this work? You can let the red names fight over here, but... Hmm. I'm just trying to see. So the dog is... That was strange. I'm just gonna let this fight happen and weed out any given survivors, but the fact that I am running low on rune arcs and literally only have one left, there are some merchants from whom I could buy some, but it's by no means the most pleasant way to do it. Come on, and really, really, okay. Amazing. Can I stab, 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 and that should be Cragway. White and manipulates gravity, puts in the earth to reinforce, increases attack power, makes it easy to break stance, everything except the whips. Well, alright. Hmm. Keep on moving up over this way. Can check out this over here and Hello? Star Search Conflict, Radon Owen holds Sully Secure, stands told to shatter the stars. Interesting, and how many more dogs are there going to be, and how much health do they have? There's one Radon Knight. So the ones that are no longer fighting, I can just take out now and here. Well, no thank you. Mm -hmm. The more I let this conflict solve itself, the better. So I could kind of frame that a little, which was nice. Compensate a bit for the mis-aiming. Well, the fact that the turning angle on skill itself is more limited than I might like it to be. Okay. Hmm. Big question is, how am I going to be able to take down... That, was that a... No, not a Radon Knight, just a Radon Soldier, but not that many Radon Knights proper. It's a couple. Well, we can just let this happen. Oh, knocked off the horse. That is certainly something. There is nothing more fun than letting somebody else do your work for you. If only they could actually get Rapaz. But it's interesting that... Not only could they not get the critical, but the big roar attack actually messed up the stance break. Okay, cool. Now the dog is coming. Cool. Well, that does that. Now, there is no reason to risk my hide unnecessarily when I'm running out of rune arcs and rune arcs are as crucial to my performance as they are. One. Two. Okay, alright. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. Okay. Not great. And one. Uh. More robot tongues over there, but. Not sure how I wanna. Uh, really? Okay. Oh, we got two and one. Lunge. Nice. How many other individuals should be around here? There was one more guy walking around. Yep, there he is. Sorry, you're not getting away. And is that... Ha. Huh. I guess the little foot soldiers did not count as part of any group, one way or the other. How pitiful. Let's keep on moving around this way. Now that it's just dogs, we should probably switch to slashing. We'll see. Yeah, get the Bloodhound Spang back out. Probably use... Could use a number of buffs here. I think I will. Golden Vow. Probably stay on horseback after that. Yeah, these things are awful enough. I'm going to use... An Wait, huh? How much do you... Okay, interesting. Thanks. And mm. Well, at least the damage is good enough to stagger. That's nice. Maybe it might be the effect of me being on horseback at the moment. Okay. How many more dogs? One of these noxious things. Oh, there are I. Can I? Oh, oh, all right. And dodge. Hmm. Not. 
dodge so much as dog. There we go. Okay, cool. Oh my, oh, all right. Thanks, and I, mm, I need to heal up before it kills me. Thank you, and can I, oh, please, I, okay. I, mm, actually using Bloodhound's finesse here might be a better idea. Dodge, can I, mm, thank you, and oh wow, nice. It, sheer damage on that skill is still on this. Pretty ridiculous. Over here, I guess we can flame grant me strength. I don't frenzy burst. Not big hit. And good damage. And stay away from this god awful crow. Thank you. One. One more. Unless you somehow manage to avoid me entirely. And I. Uh, it's the cast time on that spell that really irks me. It. Uh, these. So strong, too. And just the fact that they can stun you with just the big leg poke. That's at will, without you being able to do much of anything to them, is also painful. Okay, but there are other catacombs over there. That is good to know. Hmm. I don't want to do this. And okay, I think that's another scarab over there as well. How do I? Hmm. Okay. Let me figure this out. So we haven't seen that yet, so Old Man Roses will actually say something. Thank you. Thank you. Go in there and open it up. At least... Make myself aware of its existence in the relevant side of grace. Oh, hello! Hello there! Thank you. It's good for snubbing down scarabs, at least. Straighten up and. Okay, a somber stone? Not bad. But. What do I hear? Oh, amazing! Just what I wanted to see. Let's put on Golden Vow. Flame Grand Me. Then just burst this god awful crow to death. Thank you. Oh, really, really nice damage there. Yeah, this is good, but oh, mm. distance it actually got out of range of my snipe. Weird. Well, that did it. Don't need to worry about that now. Okay. Else down here on the side, or does not seem like it. This is the part where we've gotten. Might actually start need to use, start needing to use some kind of a light spell, but should be more or less okay. Come on. So in here we have the. What kind of catacombs? These are the. Caleb catacombs. Well, that's a descriptive name if I've ever heard one. It's accurate. And we still can't teleport out. It. If you're by a side of grace in a dungeon, you should be able to teleport out from there. Does not make much sense. Well, whatever. Whatever. We are at full flesh, getting a good amount and running around from taking out enemies that get in our way, so. Hmm. Your way back up around here. Over here to Celia around that way. And then I think I'll work my way through all the swamp and probably the Crystal Tunnel and then take on Celia itself. That actually sh should maybe leave me enough time to take on Redmayne Castle itself, depending on how I handle things and how quickly I get things done. The big thing is that there aren't a lot of dungeons, and to be fair, the the only dungeon I went through. I, I went through Jail Cave and Gale Tunnel, as well as the Minor Urchu Catacombs. And it really is... Dungeons are always a pretty big time sink, so... It's not meaningless. Big thing is... Oh, well. I messed that up. Right, they are right after each other. So then using... It's in conjunction with... Finesse should... Put me in a good position to finish these 
awful dogs off. Okay. Cool, get over here. I'm begging you, and can I... Oh, my... Okay, my goodness. Thank you. What? Oh, what? Huh? What? Okay, never mind. I... Makes no sense. Huh. Excuse me. Well, at least they're hitting each other. It's still like... Oh, come on. You've gotta be kidding me. Thank you, and can I... Oh, well... Hmm. I can get them to fight each other, or at least hit each other. Should be in a much better position. Honestly, feel... Well, there's another golden seed that I did not see. Duh. And a tiny rot dog. He thinks... He really thinks he's part of the team, huh? Okay. How should I... Well... My buff's back on. This is really... Things get silly, but... Mm, how fast are they gonna get in on me? That's the problem. That... Hop off. Two hands. Sword. And can I... Ha okay? Huh. Getting close. Need a way I can... Ah, uh, really? Really, I... Okay, but... The fact that I don't have enough poise to just handle that is obnoxious and- What? Ah, uh, you- you've got to be kidding. Thanks- uh, That's awful, actually. It- They're big enough that the range that they threaten is so crazy. Okay. Stupid, stupid dogs. Thanks. Oh, well, somehow that proc to bleed? Oh, it's probably because of the bleed build up on the bites of the other dogs when they hit the other dogs. And here should be, if I recall correctly, should be a guardian lion around here that I can take out for some reward of some sort. So, actually put on Blessing's Boon. Kind of talk through some of this, but it's stalking around, which means I did not mean to do it like that. Okay. Hmm. Thanks, Golden Vow. Flame grant me. This thing should be fodder. Okay, just... And dodge it. Give me one. And step in it. Okay, nice. I... Hmm. Dodge. Okay. Jump it. Can I... How did none of that hit? This makes no sense. I, okay. Can I... Hmm. And... Dodge. That is a very generous dodge timing, but... There we go, Lion's Zed. Somerstone, Beast Blood, old thing. It was fun enough. Yeah, the damage dealt when I was able to actually connect with... Both parts of Bloodhound's Finesse was incredibly impressive, but... On an enemy that moves around, that will happen less than you might like. Okay. Where do I want to? Golden Rune. And then... Else over here, this is just the way. It's just around the Wailing Dunes, yeah. Working my way back up and around. Just gotta remember to go into the catacombs, actually. But... Hmm. Where and where? there isn't much around here. The question is... But I'm going to have to actually fight at the end of Minor Urtree Catacomb. I mean, Kaled Catacombs. Because if it's... If it's mostly undead in there, whatever's at the end will presumably be Holy Week. My best option will presumably be using... Stay away from that stupid thing. Fought it before, I don't feel like fighting it again. Oh, well, I guess it's not up to me. Obnoxious. Uh, those stupid, stupid crows do not know when. Not know when to quit. Do not know when they're wanted and when they aren't. Okay. And their presence would or would not be appreciated. Well, the answer is never. The presence of those crows is never appreciated, but... And it's... Accurate on me from all the way over there. It's honestly... One of the most ludicrous things I've ever experienced. It's still just walking around like that. 
It's just really? Really? Okay. So we got that golden seed and now we have we have two, which still nowhere near enough for another actual flask upgrade, but it's closer, we should get actually I could check how many I need. Honestly, the annoying thing about not being able to open the map while the big crows are still tailing you is that it's a little bit harder to see where side of Grace is when he really, really how do you get all the way over here in an instant? Seriously, what gives? It some of the most bizarre enemy behaviors. Okay. It's just presumably, even though it's not looking at me, even though it's not pursuing me, I still need to actively move away. Okay, well. Teleport back there to reload the area and get rid of it. Stupid. Hmm. Okay. Was that? Well, this is where it was before, the way over by Wailing Dunes, the big pot throwing troll and all that stuff. Hmm. Okay. How do I want to do this? Yeah, moving my antenna made the connection much better, but I feel like I'll need to find something to just randomly have plugged into the microphone port so it doesn't... I mean, I don't think I'll ever use the dedicated microphone port for anything, but letting sources of corrosion and dust into the computer is never a good idea, no matter what. Okay. Around here, around the shore of the lake. Hmm... All those marionettes, but the question is, should I deal with them using slashing damage, or... Well, the slashing damage is faster, and it deals about as much, so... Yeah, I think I will. Big thing is that there are wooden enemies, and in Dark Souls 3, the only relevant enemies that were made of wood in any way were the Tree Women in the Ashes of Ariandel DLC. Or Ar Ariandel. Pronunciation is weird about that. But they were actually specifically weakest to standard damage. As it was basically chopping damage. Oh, a marionette soldier helm. Okay. Huh. So how I cannot get up there using those tombstones. I can get out, but I can't get in. Soldier helm, send a wonderful point of point metal reinforced the lattice, marionette soldiers, serve the sorcerers. It's crude, dull, the only thing that matters is that it does not break. How morose. Okay. So then, going through Salia, going through the swamp, shouldn't actually be all that much over on the shores, I would think. Lots of... I think there might be a rune arc over there, maybe? I know that there's one over in Dragon Barrow, so it behooves me not to die without a purpose. Let's just check in. Oh, it's Sacramental Bud, a Rune Arc, and a Smithing Stone. That was nice to get. Gorgeous view of the gigantic lake, and composed entirely of scarlet rot. You know, to each of their own. Come on. Oh, please, but at least it's going one way and not the other. Let's do that, do that again, and broken down. Go in, slash. Thank you very much. Cool. Hmm. So what else is around here then? Oh, just more marionettes. Okay. One, two. More marionettes over that way. It is interesting seeing which enemies disappear on Dab and which ones leave corpses. Just wondering how that distinction was made. And they... And only these toss out fire. Fire pots, presumably to counteract. Scarlet rot in the area. Yeah. Just the hatred I have for those marionette enemies cannot be summed up in words alone. Question is, something that sees me, it's probably that avionette. 
Where is it? Or what is? Okay. Weird. So where are? So there you are. Presumably it was you. I okay. And somehow I can hit them. Funky. All right. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. Cool. All right. So is that all, or clearly there is something else around? Don't see where it is. Don't see what it is. You know, I, I presume it's some sort of marionette enemy based on other things that have been around, but... If it's one of those crows that somehow has gotten aggroed on me, or somehow quote-unquote sees me even though literally has its back turned right now, I'm going to have a conniption. Okay. Hmm. A troll up on the side, as well as... Oh, but... There, there isn't anything. I guess it's these? Maybe? I really don't know, and I... What? Oh, oh, come on. Alright. Thanks. I, okay. Whatever. This is stupid. Okay. Big thing is, I shouldn't have engaged them on horseback. That was where the bad ideas started. Okay. I, okay. Whatever. So they're so much more annoying when they take one hit and start breaking down. Actually, a bit more threatening when they're close to death. Which, it is funny that that arguably gives them a phase transition is a basic enemy. <sighs> Have mercy. Have mercy. And is that it? Well, we killed a group of enemies, but apparently something is still around and angry enough at me that I can't open my map. I don't think it's the troll. I doubt it's the troll, is it? I feel like it might be an avionette that is somehow... No, it might be the troll, actually. It's gonna say an avionette that somehow got stuck in the level geometry to the point that it doesn't actually show up in a way that I can target lock on it or otherwise, you know, get rid of it. But, swords in here, because yeah, presumably, right, there'd be this big balloon over here that marked the start of all of the scarlet rot, so. Hmm. How am I going to make this work? Yeah, but what is actually going on? The main thing is that navigating the area is that much worse without the ability to use the map. But now I can use the map. Okay. Let's just go around here. Every little bit that's north of the Cathedral Drag Communion. And then... Hmm. It's pretty annoying. I will say that. I'm going to wait... Then, camp over here with anybody in it, or nobody in it. It's kind of sad, but I might have gotten... If there was something in there, I think I actually got it yesterday. There's so much, it all kind of just blends together. Hmm. As long as I remember what bosses I've defeated, it's the important thing. I beat a... Cute Frenzy Duelist, A. Eh? She doesn't even use Frenzy, which... It's interesting that they use that word, at least in the English, then. I mean, madness, no frenzied flame stuff. Then a Magma Worm with some trouble, and then... A. Eh? Two Erdtree Burial Watchdogs that I made fight each other. So that I wouldn't have to work as hard. So, use that, but it probably won't make all that much of a difference. But now we can go around the perimeter. I think Commander O'Neill should be somewhere in here. Also, at some point, Millicent will invade, so I need to be cognizant of that. Where I was before. Kill those land squirts, but I... Oh, there it is. There you are. Hello there. Hi. What? Wait, what? 
Huh? Oh, so using Frenzy Burst or something like that is going to be way to take it out. Thank you. Oh, Poisonous Mist. Ash of War. Bathe in Poison slash Sprint Attacks in this word. Retains its poison for a while. Swiss and Claws accepted. And if I've got the Ants for Rapier later, I could put Poisonous Mist with a Blood Infusion on that once I get to Nokron. That would be nice. What is this guy? Oh, just a random clean rot knight? Okay. Suit yourself. Well then, I... Alright. Thanks. Thank you. And... Alright then. So that enemy alone was a... Group for the sake of giving back flasks. I'll take it. The Street of Sages ruins were... Around here. Street of Sages. I wonder if that has anything to do with the gallery. Question is... So using this guy as a northward point for now could be good, but... Which is where Millicent will invade. Enemy ahead. Is Millicent gonna invade around here, or is it a reference to this? It's the question. And dodge. Hmm. One, two, do- Ooh, how'd that- It'd be funny if they could drop their weird, funny wooden pole spears. It wouldn't really be good for much of anything, but still. Eventually, I'll be kicked off my horse unceremoniously. Milson will show up to give me the fight of my life using tactics completely inaccessible to the player, which is to say a Shamshir with Waterfell Dance, which... Waterfell Dance is not a skill that the player can freely put on things. The only way to get it is to use it on Hand of Millennia, where it is actually the basic, the base skill, which cannot be swapped out, but... There really is, there's a question, where is Millicent? Hello, clean route. And I... One... Two... Oh, and we poised through that. Sliding, and we're still getting rot buildup during that animation. Huh. Okay. Cool, but... Nice thing is we can... Hmm. Let's just use flame, cleanse me, and... Oh, the rot buildup stayed up, presumably because of the liquid. Right. Hmm. I... Okay, well, alright. Thank you. And... Oh my goodness. You've got to be kidding. Thanks, and... How do I jump it? What in the hell? Huh? Oh my goodness. This is just stupid. It. You know, I actually kind of doubt that anywhere else in the game is going to be this bad. It may be a lake of rot, especially since I will be doing it pretty early, but even even still, it's just having to deal with the constant threat of rot and a big amount of enemies where I would say I could stay on horseback, but not really. I honestly, what I need is I need to bite the bullet and just actually level up my lands. At least a little bit. And then I could use that from horseback with a good amount of range. And tear a good amount of things to utter pieces, but just... At least I have a few rune arcs to buy, they aren't all that expensive, but once you start having to buy rune arcs, that's not amazing news. There's a few of those, but I think... If the Lance is going to be my dedicated horseback weapon, I think it will be. I'll be... Oh, but we need more of that. Okay. How much? I need three more. I have one smithing stones, but at least I can buy them now. Having to go all the way to the Twin Maiden House is annoying, though. If they had to put it anywhere, they should have put it by... Right by... The Blacksmith. 
It's whatever. Okay. Alright. Go over. Level up the lands, use that on the cleaner rods, and I should be fine. Back over no matter. Well, your arms. Strength in melee armament. Take my lance and make it stronger. Have mercy. Thank you, thank you. And this. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay. It's not as good as the Epe, but. Can't go as high right now either. Go on the lance and just make it quality, I suppose. It's not a bad idea. Right now it's 265. Then quality wood, 269. Actually, let me see real quick, just to be sure. So I wouldn't be able to two-hand it on horseback anyway, but that shouldn't be making a difference right here, right now. Hmm. 265. A colt is actually... It's... 253. 65 versus... 269, so it is better. Put that on here. Sure. Very, very slightly better. It's time to maybe make use of this thing. How exciting. I think we might be able to get another bell bearing from... the... Falling Star Beast at the end there? Maybe. Let's just go back to the Swamp Shore here. Lance on and... See how well it fares on... Horseback against these various beasties. Make it daytime. Till morning. Thank you. Cool. And it does not look any different. Amazing. And there we are. It said actually holding that down and just going for charges. As in charging at the enemy might be a better idea, but where did that queen rod come from? That's my question. And that I fly right here, because they do respawn from what I what I recall, but did it show up when I killed that scarab or am I? Just going crazy. I So they are the Knights of Millennia specifically. And since they've got rot in them, they apply rot to anything around them as well. So... Hmm. They show up at different times of day, or... What is that that decides their patrol route and the like? And oh, it's Millicent right here. That's where she shows up. Amazing. Okay. Let's just use... This then, Millicent. Hello then. Hello there. Use a number of things. And how long is it going to take her to come up here? This may be bad for me. Okay, hi Millicent. And oh, I. All right, amazing. And I. Hmm. She's got waterfall dance on this cursed thing. So I. Thanks. And okay, nice. And can I? It was that easy. That's kind of insane. Sacramental button. Wait, what? Huh? What? Really? You've got to be kidding. Really? Okay. Golden rune it. Can I... Uh, horse, horse it. Can I... Heal, heal. That was... Some of the dumbest garbage I've experienced. And we didn't even get a rune arc. We just got a bunch of runes. That was actually kind of infuriating. So I... Uh, Still spotted, but going to Aonia Swamp Shore would be nice. But I think that was the first Grace of Gold buses were first to serve with the most vivid coloration. Yeah, that's the first time I got one of those runes, so. Let's just go back, heal back. One more level of something. Okay. Anything heavier here? 
Still no. It's heavier, but it's hideous. Oh, and it's got less poise, somehow. It's not supposed to be especially good armor, then, maybe. But I, until I actually need... Until I actually need to fight something magic -ish green turtle, and maybe even then. Let's actually just use this golden rune. Get another level, but... Oh, I, that was not enough. So... You're about... 3,000 and a half more. Use those real quick. Tools. That should be good. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Be nice if she gave me a rune arc. Fortunately, I don't think I can hope for such things. Put up. Cool. I wonder how that scaling is working. It's increased it by 1.5 points, but... Hmm. The equip boat system in Elden Ring is a bit different than other Souls games, and I... There's a lot of intricacies that, frankly, I haven't bothered really working through. It is what it is. Okay. Hmm. Do I want to make this work? Should be some more queen rods in here, but I'll live. Maybe, hopefully. And can I? Ooh, how did they miss that? It was actually really annoying. Thank you. Oh, huh. Well, that horse charge was not bad. Can I? Thanks. Uh, mm. I have my doubts. Well... Hmm. Hello, welcome back. I am trying my best to fight these things from horseback. What's for dinner? Dinner's always nice. Well, this is actually quite good. That's no problem at all. As long as you're fine. Just do what you need. Do what you need. Oh, oh, nice. What kind of kebab? Mmm, that block was a bit annoying, but we charge, charge. Oh, really? Come on. Uh, uh. What in the... Okay. Really, really, I despise these knots. Uh. And how did that miss? How did that miss? And I... Hmm. Can I stab? But the time that that charge takes is actually ridiculous, and I. Hmm. Damage it's doing is also less than I might like. Uh, very, very strange. Despise these queen rods. At least the stance damage is pretty good, but I. What? Would I be better off using the Great Epe anyway, just because it's got presumably better scaling and more base damage? I probably would be. I'm not happy about that. But, uh -huh. similar attacks to the Lance anyway, but... Do these things infinitely respawn? They might. I hope they don't, but they might. Big thing is, I'm probably actually better off fighting them in the Swamp. Which I'm not happy about, because now I have to deal with Rot now, but... Hmm. I... Yeah, I deal so much more damage. Not on horseback. Okay, cool. God, just, uh, can I heal again? Okay. So we need to use Flame Cleanse Me now. I... It sucks to suck, I guess. Uh, Queen Ronite Sword. Oh, cool. That strength index, and that's all. Fought alongside Millennia Blade of Nickel, a backup weapon combination with a long hand with the permanent. Along with a spear or scythe of some sort. And I uh, shouldn't still have rod affecting me, right? Well, whatever. Oh, we took a little bit of damage from that, too. I think over here should be. Now this is Commander O'Neill, the heart of Aeonia, so... 
Ooh. Not great. Weak to pierce, which means... Let's use all of our buffs. Put Blood Flame Blade on this thing, too, if we feel like it. Just for fun. Golden Vow. Oh, we don't have enough for that yet. Then we... Golden Vow. Flame grant me strength. And this should be... Good to take him down. Oh, Commander. Oh, well. Alright. Should have gotten in faster. Thanks. And another. How do I... Okay. Cool. Alright. Oh, Rotten Winds. Nice. Also, wait, what? Huh? Okay. Huh. Let's just go over and try that again. And I... Okay. Weird. Oh, that's the Commander Standard buff is the thing. And I... Oh, gory fame. Well, that's cool. Actually got dialogue. Huh. Well, I should actually focus on taking these night specters down first then. Okay. Well, the impaling thrust takes them out very easily. But question is, is he going to summon any more? If he summons more, that will change how I handle him. Hmm, I... Hopefully that was it. I don't think I can really hope for that much, but we're going to hope for it anyway. Golden Vow. Keep on running. Get some strength from this flame. And then we... Ooh, all right. Thank you. And the... Ooh, all right. And... Ooh, okay. Dodge. And... Ooh. How do I want to... Thanks. And dodge. And, oh, get, uh, hmm, get up. Uh, dodge, and, hmm. Thanks, and, okay. I know that you can be stance broken if you're not stupid about it, so I, can I, oh, okay. Can I, oh, there we are. Go for the critical. Thank you. Nice. Take that out. But, he is weakest too. Well, actually, we just poke him down. Okay, cool. Before any of that garbage happens, so, one, and, okay, well, I, mm, oh, well, that did it, cool, great enemy failed, and, take that out, nice, and commander standard and the unallied go needle, we also got a race from that, that was cool, commander standard is good, I think it's worse than golden vow, as a buff, using rallying standard, beaten red battle standard, fooled around this time on halberd, even after his lord was fed, Commander O'Neill continued to brandish this. The devastation of the rot even feel the battle. Sole veteran who remembers this battle with pride. On command, attack power and defense for self and nearby allies. Alright. Huh. The unallied gold needle. And uh, gold snapped in half. Sage Gary has designs for this needle. Crafted to ward away the meddling of outer gods, not capable of forestalling the incurable rotting sickness. Huh. I hear a scarab of some sort around here. But I... Big thing is that I should also probably... Farm a few... Actually... Can I, can I use this as a way to get up... On the side over there, or am I... Just stupid? I... Something over there, but... This is not it. Okay. Go down and around and see what that scarab has for me. What is this scarab then? Oh, these mosquitoes are much bigger. Two, three. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, come on. Then we. This is. Oh, okay. Sacred Ring of Lights. Huh. Commanders of the Queen Rod, Sacred Ring of Light, and the Armament Fire at Forward, Sacred Affinity. Huh. Yeah, these ones are actually massive. What's up with that? And I... Ah, at least the damage isn't special. It'd be funny if they could somehow drop multiple heads. Which, I guess, would presu Presumably they would be preying on other ones, then. It's the only way that would make any sense. Come on. Dragonfly head. Dragonfly head. Come on. Come on. Okay. What? Huh? I... 
Maybe like this. But boluses are nice, but I don't really need these, so. Hmm. Next order of business is, like I said, probably to go over and farm some. How many golden fireflies do I have is the question. Yeah, but I need to farm some. Oh, uh, farm some foul feet from over here. Okay. Oh, but also, I forgot to go in those catacombs. It's also true. You do that as well. Actually, best way to farm them would probably be using Gavel of Hyma now. Yeah, I mean, Ken, Ken and Hyma. Let's do it like this. Maybe I could actually make silver ones for the sake of farming, but oh, the issue is it knocks them down. Hmm. So the question is, what would a good AoE that actually probably Gravitas? Gravitas and a large club or something, just as a farming duel for that. Let's see that working. Yeah, let's go for that. Try that out. See how well it fares. Yeah, a silver one for the sake of farming. Gold ones could actually be pretty good. Huh. Oh, it. A timing, though. Timing. And I don't have any foul feet, is the thing. We could actually. Oh, we got one exactly. The issue is we don't have any gold fireflies. Okay. Cool. We will farm gold ones. We'll use silver ones to farm gold ones then. It's funny. Oh, we got a bunch already. Okay. Let's just do a run. And. Cool, that actually worked very, very well. Makes sense. Got that up. Let's rest, but... Maybe what I should also do is put on... America. Yeah, and just for a bit more arcane. For a tiny bit of additional drop chance. And... Cool. Well, that one fell. So I can't get too close before it just... Flies the coop. Maybe in that case, if I just... Maybe I'm running too long. That might be the issue, so... Thanks. Alright. But it also feels as if the item drop chance is a bit... lower than it was before for... some inscrutable reason. So... Thank you. That was good. Jumping up there. Oh, we got another four-toed foot. So yeah, farming... A bunch of these using the one that increases the item drop chance should be pretty nice. And okay, so it is pretty lenient. You can do it from pretty far away. Okay. I don't know. Maybe it's the corpse falling through. Maybe it's just it dropping nothing and me not being observant enough to see it. But it kind of feels as if sometimes they're falling through the map after I hit them with gravitas possible. Big thing is, it's... I'm pretty sure you get Silver Scarab on Mount Galmir, which is a very inconvenient place, relatively speaking. Yep, if... The lack of projection in that AoE is a bit annoying, but... I'm just trying to think of what I could really use. What AoEs would actually be serviceable, but it... it does seem as if... No, no, that is the corpse. Didn't drop or anything, I just... Hmm. Okay. So all these flight pinions that I have very little need of, and... Beyond that... Hmm. Or Toad Falfa. Yeah, I will need to get more Golden Fireflies, but that's not the annoying part. That's just going to a pond in Lindrave. Okay. Thank you. It's fun to do, too. Blast them all with a big old gravity wave. Okay. Come on, come on. Over here. Put that down and... Mm, but, and it's just every time it messes up and they fall over the edge by getting killed mid-flight. There's always something on their corpse too. It's actually the worst part. 
So, come on, come on. And then, fly pinion, fly pinion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. Boom. Alright. Fly pinion, four toed foul foot, fly pinion. Mm hmm. Once the effect, the effect has gone away, I think. We got nine. I'll pop another one, and then... See how much I get by the time it's expired, and then probably go and do some crafting after that. And this is not the most engrossing thing to do, but it is... I wouldn't call it a necessary evil. It's not evil, but... It's necessary, but not all that fun. Just the more rune gain I have... More strength I'll have, and the more effective we'll be at fighting things. Yeah, okay. Wigate will send me to the courtyard for the Dawn Festival eventually. So actually, the AoE is a lot better than I thought it would be. So, hmm. Much to think about. The little bit of additional arcane is nice to have, too. Thank you. Pinion, fly pinion. This way. This is the grace. Okay. Uh -huh. Give me more of that. Finally got another foot. Should last about a minute and a half if I recall correctly. The silver toad fell foot buff. Have to look at that maybe, but it shouldn't be all that complicated. And drops from everything this time in two feet. That's good. Yeah, I've got about 21 without rune arcs in every stat now, which is useful, but I do get the feeling that I'll have to make a to find an NPC that I can grab a rune arc from. That said, when I get into Volcano Manor, I'll be able to start doing those assassinations, which will get me a few more rune arcs too, which would be nice. But as of now main thing is eh, it's pretty soon I should have enough faith to use frenzy burst even without and I'm reaching the point where well 40 is the south cap the big thing is that the biggest increase in damage from scaling comes from getting stats around 10 to around 20 diminishing return start there already so it's not all that complicated at all. it is what it is Fell foot, then mm -mm. over here. Rest the grace. Mm -mm. Gray bridge. Then we come on. Thank you. My opinion. Four toed fell foot. The buff should be gone soon. Oh, but what's interesting is that the America buff and the fell foot buff icons are in a different order than they were last time because it's in the order of. Order received, so if you put a talisman on after using a consumable item that gives you a buff, the consumable buff icon will be before in well, that's it, but if we already rested, we may as well just take that and oh well, huh. So it actually went there, weirdly enough. So we got twenty-two of those, which means all of two trips through the the mistwood little pond. Fun. Best way to do it would be to wait till night, so that's what I'll do. Till night, so that at least one of the rune bears will just be sleeping and not bother me. So then, just in case, why not put on Bloodhound's Fang? Also, if I go to Mogwin. Muscle, I mean, though to be fair, I probably wouldn't be fighting Moog because I wouldn't have the tier that I need to counter his big AoE attack yet. I should be able to get it eventually. Oh, amazing. Oh, thanks. Well, at least I'm in an okay position, but Knight is actually not making the big difference I expected it to. Hmm. 
He said, saw me, and that means I have to manually go back to the grace instead of just teleporting back to reset it. That's life. Hmm. Come on, come on. Give me more of this. Just need enough fireflies to make a bunch of foul feet, and then I'll be fine for most of the rest of the time. Come on, then. Come on. Okay. So one more, one more, and then I go to those catacombs. I'll have enough to craft two inventory stacks. That is, well, 20 and then two, because that goes over. But you need... Oh, and a, another bear saw me, I think. That's not great. We did it. Well, we're okay now. So let's go to the Caleb Catacombs. Thank you. Hmm. Question is, is it going to be enemies that I use holy on in here or enemies that I use blunt on in here? I... Hmm. Can't quite tell yet. And... Oh, it's Miranda Flowers. That's interesting. Hmm. Maybe what I could do is put... Sacred Void on a large clod, because it would be good enough. Yeah. Sacred Void on a large clod, because... It'll be fine to use. And then, if I need to use the Grey Club on something, I mean the Curved Large Club on something with... Lion's Claw and Strike Damage, that will also be available to me. Okay. Cool. Is it gonna be... Some kind of Miranda Flower in here, or another Miranda Flower boss. I can see that. Okay, cool. Resin. Then cleanse me, and... Oh, it is. It is skeletons. Okay, cool. Hurry up left. Let's put on our sacred large club then, which does not have many upgrades. Can I? Thanks, and- oh, alright, thanks. And it's still just- one tap is more than good enough anyway. Okay. As long as I can crush them somewhat reliably. I think I've been to these ones before, actually. I may have. I don't quite remember, but given that there is a- yeah, this is very, very familiar to me. Went to this one on my own time in my other playthrough, I think. Let's go over. Take that stupid flower down. Me when these scarlet rot catacombs. Thank you. Thank you, and can I... One, two... Okay. Fine by me. Poison Bloom, Ghost Glove War. More of that up in there. Cool. Is is there a hidden path or Yeah, okay, cool. And Miranda Sprout Ashes. Grave Glove War. And okay, now they're all here. Gang's all here. Now I'm rotted again. Nice. Okay. Let's drink. Sprout Ashes, Fly Miranda Sprout Spirits, Sweet Old Miranda Flowers, Carnivorous Blossoms, Feed Upon Human Flesh, Creep Slowly, Scattering Toxic Pollen, Vermin Bit of Fire, Do Take Care of the Little Darlings. Huh. Grave Glove Art, and then... This one is not too complicated, is the thing. Shouldn't have much to worry about in here. This is not stupid. Let's keep that on there. I'm easy to confuse it with the other flame one, really. Yeah, whatever. Before it ends... They're gonna be... Oh, nice. Thank you. Secret Weber. These are short catacombs. Every door's opened, and... That is probably the first time I've actually been able to see it actively open. That's cool. Grave Glove War. And... Oh, is that... It's not a flower, it's just some kind of... 
Scarlet Rot Trap. Okay. Let's let the flame cleanse us. Question is, what's up next? Try behind. Vision's a hidden path. Yeah, okay. What we got in here? Well, we can get resident for bases if we care that much. So what's ahead? Let's be a boss. No danger ahead. So presumably a cemetery shade. That's my guess. Hmm. What is in my physic flask right now? That's decent. Okay. So anyway. Probably take... Why not use these? Why not? Can't use that. Can use this. Golden Vow. Guess I might as well use Flame Brand and Strength just for the sake of it. But presumably the physical won't be all that important. And it, yep, it's a cemetery shade. Alright, cool. You just spam that and. Okay, cool. Thank you. Ooh, alright. Can I hit and not. Ooh, alright. And ooh. Oh, what? What in the. Ooh, my goodness. That was insane. Okay. Hmm. Thank you, and... Hmm. Another, and... Wow. Alright. Hit, and... Hmm. It... You get close, they suck, but there's no reason to let them get close. Oh, but I forgot to craft the foul feet. Whatever. Shouldn't make all that much difference. Yeah, that wasn't much. Kindred of Rot Ashes. It's nearly dead, too. Rot spirit, crawling pest, chitinous body making a dry, rustling sound. Hex enemies by secreting sticky threads, servants of the goddess of rot, servants that have been forsaken. Honestly, I should wear. Well, I didn't need that for one. I should change that up a while ago. But. Take that. Then we get out of dodge. Okay. I wonder if there's anything else in the Kaywood Catacombs that I missed. Probably not. Big thing is, we need to craft as many of those as we can. Kaywood Catacombs. Kaywood Catacombs. Kaywood Catacombs, and we got that stuff already. Okay. Huh. It was just a tiny, tiny one. Makes sense. Give me a second to uh, regroup. So from the heart of Aeonia, Street of Sages ruins, but there's not much in there. Got Gary. No a good way to immediately get to the shack, but actually, heart of Aeonia should be a fine way to get there. Go over to kinda stones do I have. I still don't have any other Level 5 smithing stones besides the ones that I got some time ago, which is sad. These things are good. So, let's back on. Go over and... It's still kind of funny that I don't really have... It's not going to be until I actually go to Altus and actually rest at Altus and move Corrin there that I'll be able to actually have any real holy incantations that actually don't suck. Found the noodle. Sully right here. Go on, it's yours. Sully a secret. Look at the needle. Hmm, Marvel indeed. Or is in bold crest and grassy essence of life? Probably Nicola. Some time with this. Once you snapped in half. Okay. Sully a secret. Piece of paper by Gallery hides a source. Three tan flames atop the candle towers to break the seal. Okay. Well, I. Presumably, resetting the area should do a trick. I think. Go east a bit. Should be okay. Alright then. Alright. Hmm. Kaled. Faded Erdly Flower. Go back up to the shack. Presumably, get the. Fixed Needle, which we can use to help out Millicent a bit. Okay. Ready to return. First of all, the Rotting Sickness. Give it to girl Millicent for what even kind. An allied Golden Needle. Found Sully of the Town Yonder. Witless Pester Worshipper. Where Sickness is a God. Which would fate never wish for any of this. 
Curious of such concern, one that found her. Some of Aeonia, one of the daughters. But it's memory, does not remember him at all, doesn't always worry so much. He's actually a pest himself, to live in the convalescing in the church. Some recompense. Okay. And that. Repair an intricate needle. Snap in half, repair it by Gary. Which will implement, word away the meddling outer gods. Slack triple for stalling the incurable rotting sickness. Deliver it to Millicent. We'll see the church atop the cliff just beyond Celia. Should mark this somehow. Yeah, because we have to go back and get his reward after we go to the Church of the Plague up here, which, okay, would be the only way to get to the top of this cliff and eventually kill that annoying troll. But I... Maybe I honestly want to go... Eh, I don't want to go through Sully first. I don't want to go through the lake first so I don't forget. And because there's honestly not that much there. The fact that Millicent invades you in the swamp is actually just truly vile. Okay. So let's make it daytime again. Make it morning. Okay, and it's not... It's, it is meaningfully brighter. Not as much brighter as I would like it to be, though. Let's avoid more toxic mushrooms, other stuff in here, and somber stone, and one Aeonian butterfly. It's interesting how that's marked. And I, oh, okay, Queen Rod's just emerging. Okay. Amazing. Alright. Thanks, thank you, and... Alright. Stupid things just crawling out of the muck. Actually despicable. When I see when and where things come up and how and whether I can fight them one-on-one -on -one instead of multiple at a time. I hate them enough that I would like to take them all out, if at all possible. But we did manage to take down Commander, which was nice. And, oh, okay, my goodness. Thank you, and I... Mm, that was funky. All right. And I stab and stab again. I, okay, all right. And amazing, amazing. Okay. I just there's a lot of stuff going on here. And oh my. Okay. Thanks. But I, mm, on me, two hand and this and one dodge and can I? Thank you. Oh, nice. There we go. Thank you, and more rot. Great. It's got a flashback. <sighs> the fact that they fire you in this rotting swamp. Oh, Queen Rot grieves and that. Is that heavier? It's... Heavier, but more poise. Queen Rot Knight's undefeated campaign in the Shattering Rod fought alongside Millennia, despite the inevitable gradual petrifaction and bare flesh. Acceptance of their fate made these battles the fiercest of all. That, 6.6. .6. It's interesting how they sort these then, but this is the heaviest thing I can wear, and the poise it gives me, that poise breakpoint might be quite helpful, ideally. More of those annoying marionettes. Continue poking around the shore, fighting queen rots. Hmm... So we have to go around and we'll make them gradually bubble up from this godforsaken swamp. Yeah. But once we get over to the spot with the... Let's just get that back. The sage ruins, that should not be nearly as annoying, but still. One. Thank you. To just dodge out of the way of the initial hit, and... Well, that was probably a bad idea. Okay. And we are rotted again. Amazing. Okay. What? Come on. That cannot be allowed to get over to me. Give me a little bit more. And just... Can I... 
As soon as we get off, it can up. There we are. Well, I do not need that hit, but I hmm, probably tend to use that again. But tiny damage that that deals is a cool way to balance it. But I can I stab and all right, thanks dodge out of the way and just I get the impression that they are infinite spawning. Maybe I'm not quite sure. Okay, can I? Hmm. Here at Heart of Aeonia, we got more of that garbage, so... Come on. Cleanse me, flame. It... If they spawn infinitely, I may be in some trouble. Cool. Alright. But the dodge on that grab attack is not great. So we can just poke through instead of... Deal with more of that crap. Okay. Got at least a couple more, so let's just go down and can we thanks and die. Okay, cool. Big question is Will they keep on showing up even after they kill most of their brethren? Not well, okay. Alright. Annoying and die, die, die. And we're rotted, but it shouldn't matter now. Okay, cool. Flame cleanse me. Get Cerulean Crimson, and of course that also will help by showing me when the others are gone. When I get a restoration, it will tell me that I managed to kill all the Queen Rots in an area. All the enemies of some sort in area at least. Hmm. With Aeonia's over here, and the Swamp of Aeonia is actually not that big. It's honestly the weirdest thing about it. I... It felt so big. When I put it on my mage build, and other ones where I got teleported over to Celia Crystal Tunnel early, especially since Celia Crystal Tunnel was over at the far end over here, where it feels much bigger. And just... You have to go through a significant portion of the swamp to escape. When you're going from that end. So it just feels so much bigger. Thank you, and, mm, all right, and, did I again? Okay. Hmm. Do I? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Do I want to make my way through? And there are all these. Expect a corpse, which... Oh, okay, so it marks location of some of these queen rots. And how did that stop me? Makes no sense. Whatever, I right, okay. Can I... One more stab. Alright. Okay. These things are actually just... Kind of ridiculous. Oh, and there's another one. It is honestly very, very nice that... You got, huh? Okay. Significant portion of messages marking the locations of these queen rots and hmm, come on, I. All right. Well, you know, let's go ahead and die anyway. It's fine by me. Hmm. Also, the fact that you get rot built up just by being nearby them—it's kind of crazy. I got. All right, die. Thank you. Cool. None of them are dropping anything, though. That's the thing. Presumably that was the end of that grouping, but... I just... Their sword, their spear, and I believe the halo side, too, are all possible drops from them around this area. Which are pretty decent, ho decent holy weapons. And some very annoying people have described the Queen Rot Knight as a sort of alternate starting class. And oh, there was a... That is kind of strange. Okay. Inner Aeonia. Yeah, it's... Given the fact that they have a couple of just... Random graces in here... It's actually weirder that there's nothing in a Gil Link. Huh. 
Watch for the next. Four, six, eight, four, one. It's actually perfect. Let's get that. Thank you. Thank you. And then we blow up our arcane, I suppose. A little bit more discovery. Level 89. Yeah. Well, like I said, my stats are already higher. Even just at base. Than they were at the end of my Dark Souls run. And I think this playthrough has honestly gone on is about as long. And I'm still on the third area. That's how big this game is. Better or for worse. What is this? Okay, so if you disturb them, kind of. Oh my goodness. You really gave me a heart attack. Come on, and I. Oh, please. Can I. Two. Three. Four. Five. And, mm. Okay. Mm. Big old dragonfly. The big thing is, is that everything in Street of Sages Ruins, I'm pretty sure I already got. It's really just. All those turbans are raw, but they're over by that shore. The Street of Sages. It seems to have been some connection to Gowrie, presumably. You know, it was a self described sage. I guess the question is just is Millicent going to acknowledge the fact that she invaded and tried to kill me? You know, does that even mean anything to her? Oh, and this is where I got. One really good thing. So this we run stuff is actually quite nice. And this is where I got the meteorite staff, if I recall correctly. Oh come on. We need more starlight. Thank you. One, two, then another hit. We do seem to have a decreased damage multiplier well on horseback. Okay. Oh, more, more of you. Alright. Can I? Not like that. Starlight. It would honestly be nice. The flash restoration graphic popped up even after. Even without an enemy kill. I mean, even without a flash to actually replenish. Or some other grass. Maybe it would be gold instead. Just to show completely wiped out the enemy camp and don't have to worry about it anymore. That would be pretty convenient. So I... Can we... Mmm, but the timing that takes. Time that the heavy attack takes on horseback, though. Hmm. Alright. I don't think there's anything else of note here, period, but... Even so. Feel compelled. Thank you. Oh, there we are. Use that, then. As our sign. Come on, come on. One, two, then. Hmm. Give me. Come on. And if I just run over and. How did that not actually proc rot on me? Weird. Toxic mushroom. Run around that stuff and. Oh my goodness. Okay, dodge. Should probably get... Yeah, we got poisoned. Not great. Okay, cannot... But that said, the jump attacks are very, very good. Even the jumping light attack just kills pretty reliably. So, scramby strength, and... Did I get my strength? Yeah, okay. That should be good. Okay, not... Mm -hmm. Thank you. Back on the horse. Good stuff. Down here is just meteors. I mean, rock slings, so. Got my stuff already. Precious item ahead. No horse ahead. Funny that you can... Wait, so actually... Is this going to weirdly force a dismount? No. It... Huh. You know, things like that can happen sometimes, some places, so I was expecting it to be some weird interaction that forced me off the horse, but it was not that. Okay. Huh. Another Miranda flower. Okay. 
Crystal Tunnels and Celia and... I think, yeah, this will eventually be back to... It's the area over by the Golems of the Caleb Coliseum, but it's not relevant yet. And let's go around here, focus on taking out the flowers. And I, the big thing is that I can actually run in for a heavy if I feel like it. So then I... Cool. And, well, that actually did hit. And holy damage, that was a bit bothersome. And I, okay, cool. And thanks. Ah, oh, good. So, that's just critical. And, oh, well, I, that did not work in the slightest. The dismount just took way too long is the thing. Annoying. Let's just switch out. Put that back on. Okay. Mm. All right. All right, then. Take this out. And what are the... There are clearly some items dropping, but... Oh, well... Hmm. Goal I expected. Guess I just didn't have enough stamina? Whatever. And can I... There we go. Maybe. Hmm. Okay. Never mind. Well, it's dead now. Or, well, that works too. It is interesting that the rod isn't ticking down while I'm still in the critical animation. Almost certainly prevents some silly interaction when you die mid critical. But, so then up here is, what is this? It's a runark. It's a sacramental bud, which the only thing I can really do with that is make bewitching branches, which suck. I have no interest in using. Because they're not worth using. I tried using them on those mad pumpkin heads in the fine Kalem ruins, and it just did not do anything. It clearly would have needed multiple hits to actually work, I think, and it just did not perform up to expectations in any way, shape, or form. Come on. Oh, lots of Morantis. So the good thing is I can just hit them from horseback. And if I'm fast enough keeping up this string, I can actually continue the combo. That's cool. Cool. There we are. That's all of them. Anything on there? Looks like something was here, which is just... Say toxic mushroom. Hmm. Anything else over here? Well, it is interesting how this was, you know, seemingly, you know, a place where people lived or something before, you know, Caleb went all Caleb, so to speak. Here and yep, this is where. That's actually really funny, because I never saw that grace. A few times I got stuck in this area before. Through the teleport. It's amusing. So, one, two, three, four. And oh, you get her. Crimson Tears, which mean nothing to me right now. And a stick of America. Huh. But I can't actually do much over that way because it's the outlet from Deep Sea for Well. That will not do much for me. But. Oh, back in Kaelid from. Right, because that was the swamp, so this is just Kaelid proper. Well, we can just let these things blow up for fun and profit. Our own. That is. One fragment. Come on, come on. Please. Please. Thank you. It's just... Did that one not drop a... No, it did. It was just partially obscured behind the glass. But it's just I don't really need... Need these ruined fragments anyway. Well, it... Hmm. I'm gonna be here. I may as well... Take these down, just along the way. I don't kill every single one of the Ember Jails, so this is fine. Oh, but the... Ah, oh, the jumping heavies are... 
guaranteed one taps. Fuck. That makes sense. But. Oh, so now they're doing some stuff too. Question is oh, and these ones are actually somewhat aggressive. Fun. Oh, but they. Can I actually. I can stance break them, but it's just a stagger, not an actual. Oh, okay. Can I. There we are. I thought for a second that might get in, got in, get interrupted. It did not. What am I going to find over here? Probably just a crystal chunk or something. There's a school graven mages over this way. Another one of sorceress's creations, presumably. Hi there. Hello. Thanks. And the damage alone on this is very very good. Wow. All right, I'll take it. Oh, and that, mmm, that, that is good. Said so I don't have anything that I'm leveling up right now that isn't already at plus five, but eventually that should be good. But kill me or Gwenstone Staff and Prince of Death Staff only use these normal smithing stones, though, if I recall correctly, which is actually makes it a bit harder to come by. Hmm. We had a dragon. Presumably Gwintstone Dragon Smarag to eat the sorcerer. Maybe. But that... So the reward for that was a smithing stone, which is actually... That's not nothing. It's not bad. Not by a country mile, but still. Hmm. So... In that case... Let's continue... Okay. Quality curve great club, and this is still sacred with no Ashable equipped, which is interesting. Because you can't do that normally, you do have to equip eh? an Ashable. Hmm. Do that. Thanks. Hmm. Okay. Alright. I'm back. Take down these giant land squirts. Hello. One. Two. It is kind of funny that... Uh, one time I got stuck in Stella, I was screwing around on just a base samurai, samurai character. No levels, not even the ability to level, no horse. I managed to actually get around to Divine Tower of Caleb over here and find my way to the Godskin Apostle through dumb luck, basically. And of course I stood no chance, chance of actually beating it, but it was interesting to go and try. Big thing about it, though, is... Oh, but... Hmm. At least one other did it. Huh. Who is shooting at me? Oh, we got more stupid marionettes here. Annoying. One, two... Make sure that any given one of these dies as soon as we hit it. So, make sure that the first hit turns into death, otherwise we're in for it. Hmm. squirts, arrows, okay. It's interesting that you have a time window on those that you don't really have with others, but... Hmm. Thank you, and... Oh my goodness, okay. Well, we're rotten now. Thank you. Take that up. Yeah, but the ones you hit it on the basal portion, pretty good. Thank you, but... And the bleed got it. It is kind of interesting that those things actually can bleed, but... The slope might have been part of it, because it seems that they... Yeah, their sort of big foot changes its angle based on the slope of the terrain, but it's weird in terms of hitting the actual hitbox and I... Okay, never mind. One, two, three, four. Oh, but just hitting the under section without getting the critical also works. Wonders. Okay. Question is, if I go over this way around Celia, what else will be there? Yeah, the only things left would be 
True to the plank, presumably whatever's around this way. If I can find a good way to get up there, probably through the bridge. Getting through Celia, then Redmane, then taking down Redon, and then probably Dragon Barrow for next time. Hmm. Oh, and this actually just gets to Celia. Huh. Item ahead, are you ready? Oh, there would be Sorcerer. Huh. Don't have the right stuff, are you ready? Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, okay. Thing is, we should mark this as treasure. So that when we actually get through, I don't forget. But, oh, you can actually get right to sell you this way, too. Huh. But I am going to be using Bloodhound Sting to get through Celia. Should be my best bet, honestly. Rotten Stray Ash is right here. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Rotten Stray. Stray die corrupt with scar rot. Only a small creature. Violent is that is nimble. Things special with poisonous rot. Let's put down a funny message. It's right here. Inventory. Tools. And then we... Tarnished wizened finger. First off, dog. Gonna be dog is not. Concepts, enemies. Dog. Yeah. First off, dog. Should get a few laughs, hopefully. So far, I've fallen. Coming a clown for the sake of healing. Silly understair. Then we have, yeah, the crystal tunnel. Okay. A kindred of rotten here as well as okay, but big thing is I think the way I'll take it down should be let's see. I wrote a spell we need Terra Magica. Terra Magica. It's very similar to Starlight. It's funny. And then, Flame Grammy Strength is not what I need right now. Do a bit of rearranging, and then... Karian Slicer. Should be... Get right over here. Okay. Don't need Greatsword or Piercer. Greatsword is good for taking down Black Knight Assassins specifically, because it catches them very well. But, it's not really the issue right now. Okay. Hold suffering. Oh, but right, we didn't go. There's a little bit over here that I still kind of need to poke around. Maybe. Let's just double check one last time to ensure there's nothing of any note or value that I miss. I need, I need things. I need power. Hmm. That's there. Okay, so there was nothing other than that weird magic pot. Marionette. It's one of the most forsaken things I've ever had the misfortune of coming in contact with. So yep, over here is a Celia Crystal Tunnel. Got teleported to a while back. So. Alright then, I think the best way to do this would probably be... Quality, great club. Quality, yeah, quality curved great club. But it's large club, great club. But the great club is a holy damage weapon of all things. And that's what's so weird about it. Actual. Actual one. Oh, but right, I should. Pathetic sort of door ahead. Nope. Okay. Funny trick. Funny idea for a trick, though. Just physic, intelligence, and then magic shrouding. Okay. That will be very, very nice against the Falling Star Beast. Should be able to hopefully spam it down, but we'll see. 
then expect the item, but presumably whatever was there I got on my initial run out. Alright. Kindred of Rod around here. Biggle. Thank you. Oh, amazing. Why don't you get down here? Why don't you do that? Come on. It's the pestoids can't get me here. Golden Rune? It appears they can kind of get me from here. That's not good. Huh. Can I... That won't hit. What if I... Uh, can I... Maybe... A strong attack if it's a vertical? Uh, oh, oh, wow. That actually worked. I'll take it. Here we go. So a backstab do it. Yeah, these guys are actually weak. Okay. Well, by me, but yeah, you know, they weren't supposed to be all that debilitating given that you can get sent here straight from Limgrain, so that's nice. Crack crystal, smithing stone. Five. Oh, all right. How many? Up to plus 15, but get a few more in here and that will have to start making me stronger, but nice thing is that since it's all physical, my physical talisman will help me out here. Okay. Talisman that resists physical. Oh, come on. I Alright. Am I gonna get over it? Take this stupid stupid guy out. Come on. Need to get over here and just can I... Oh, oh I did not intend for that. One, two, three. Oh, but if we're too close, can't hit us like that. That's nice. So then, to jump over there. Hmm. Funky. It's one way to get through. It's an interesting dungeon. Got some intricacies to it. Just don't want to overextend myself and wind up in trouble. Yeah, but I'd have to do some funky jumping to get whatever item that is. Okay. Already got the bunch of gravity stone fans from before. Mm-hmm. They're, they're fans of Gravity Stone. They like Gravity Stone, presumably. Too high up. Oh, we have to kick it down. Okay. It's just having actual durability. When I tried doing this one on my mage build, it really sucked, and the main reason why is just I couldn't reasonably take hits. Now I've got actual armor, actual a lot of things. Oh my goodness. Okay. Come on. Dodge. Mm, can I? Well, whatever. Whatever. Thank you. Oh, this is right. I should have been using the lion's claw. Whatever. Oh, there. There we go. There we go. The piercing actually isn't. The big thing is that slashing sucks against them, but I'm pretty sure that. I think that blunt should be my best option. Strike is. I guess. The chitin. Could be maybe interpreted as some sort of scaly armor if you want to be really, really pedantic about it, but mm, whatever. It's tough. Just gotta jump around over there. It's interesting how this works, frankly. That was the way out from before. That'll get me back eventually. Okay, so how am I going to get over to that and oh that worked okay should move part ahead and cuckoo glintstone nothing all that special but sure okay and any more oh hello there I oh all right interesting cool that was that's lion's claw bait should have used it smithing stone five and we're getting a good amount of smithing stones here I like that, genuinely. And pretty high quality ones at that. Hmm, but... Hidden path, will there be sound? Oh, huh. It's a big noise from hitting at the wall of my club. Hmm. And on the other... We can just jump that. Somber stone for whatever. 
Because I won't have to buy more, but that's not all that crazy. Oh my goodness, alright. Dodge. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And where is... There you are, over here, and... Thank you. Alright. Didn't even need the critical. So then... Gotta find the drop down so I can shortcut back here. Ladder down. Kick that ladder down. Alright. Golden rune. Kick the ladder. And then... Hmm. Huh. Save that, and just... Oh my goodness, okay. Luckily, I just have a really good way to take these guys out. Just one big bash will do it. No questions asked. What is this in here? This is... Rock Blaster. So we got... I forget where we got Shatter Earth. Might have been... Even Peninsula. This is the better version. Both of them suck, though. Bit of Massive Shockwave, Academy of Rail Lucaria, Quincy Miner's Stone Digger Sorcery Enhanced Version, Feral with Magic, Send the Ground Medicine Magical Shockwave, Cold to Continue Without Striking the Ground, Push the End into Enemies. Huh. Okay. Smithing Stone, and yeah, that, that's valuable. Hmm. Let's go up. Hunger Beast will be at the end. Should hopefully have the means to deal with it, but we'll see. That liar ahead. But it's... We have fives there, but fours for the somber stone. That's what's weird about it to me. Hmm. So then, multiple in here, but... Take them out, though, would be... Oh, hello there. Hi. And can I... Slam it. Okay, nice. Hit. There we go. Cool. All right. Mm -mm. Dragon Wound Grease and a mm -mm. maybe more good somber stones. I'm begging. It won't work. I'm begging will not work. And one, two, and can I spin and crush? Okay. Alright, and oh wow, how did that hit? Funky. Okay. Hmm. What's on here? Faithful's Canvas Talisman and that. Goose Incantations. Group Mass Figure. Potency of Incantations. Flock at Prayer. Firm belief in the intangible, inspiring even the solitary founder of their religion. Faith, if not an affirmation. I believe that's Flock's Canvas Talisman that's strongest, if I recall correctly, but. That is enough to take my great epi to plus 15. And I think I will do just that. Actually, either the great epi or the... How much on the curved great club? I... Plus 12 and... I could take both this and the epi to plus 14, which I think is the move. One decent weapon of every type. That's what I should like. Let's go, and I think we'll get a bell bearing from this fight, too. Ideally. Go in and take it out. Like we bug, but could this be a butterfly? Because the Estelle stuff. So, don't need that. What we need is staff. Gotta get ready for Terra Magica. Korean Slicer. Blessing's Boon would actually be good to have just in case. Since Boon, Golden Vow, and oh, I don't have enough right now. Okay, Golden Vow. That's Terra Magica and the other stuff there. Actually, we put that down as soon as possible. It'll be some time until it wakes up. So, uh, animation though is going to kill some time. My Golden Vow, whatever. Okay, cool, Terra. And Karian. One, two, three, four, five, six, and okay. One, two, I dodge it. Okay, my goodness, that was really, really bad. Okay. Oh, I. All right. Hmm. Well, this is actually good damage anyway. I, okay. Cool. All right. And oh, bleed, bleed build up. That's funky. Okay. One, two, and there we go. That was simple. 
Okay. That was... Oh, wow. A lot of good smithing stones. Somber smithing stone 6. I didn't have a single one of those. A bunch of smithing stone 7s. Gravity stone chunk. Gravity stone chunk. Somber stone miner, but miner's bell bearing one. That's nice. It's actually very nice. Okay. Check the descriptions on some of those things I previously did not have access to. A romp ahead. Okay. Yeah, and that... I don't have any seven ones, though. Poor region, semi-vitrified. Smith a variety of armaments, up to plus 21. Weapons of the champions of the war against the giants at the birth of the Erd Tree. Okay. Huh. All right, then. And a Quintstone Scrap. Huh. Let's go back to the entrance, I suppose. That... Harry and Slicer's DPS when done right is really, really good, but the... <sighs> didn't have the speed to keep it within Terra Magica. It's the thing. And we go to Sally, we take out. Also, Sally a hideaway should be over here. I can do that too. Hmm. But then that. Depending on how long Redman takes, in which case. Question is do I fight Redon then or what? Hmm. First, I go back to the table. And then we could do a great deal of upgrading. Question is, do I... Yeah, I'm using this on Bloodhound's Fang. Really, there's no question. As good as Golden Order Seal is, uh, don't use it as often. So, put on Sphang, and that, that's a good bonus. Then we, some people have made criticisms of the fact that you cannot turn stronger smithing stones into weaker smithing stones, but the intent, I think, this is the point, that they don't want to get too strong by going to, say, Caled early. It wants to, you know, sort of advance once to one stage quicker once you get the lower one, but... It can be. It's interesting how they do progression as a result. Alright, then we go back on the Epe. Can't go much higher, so there's no point to. Yeah. Got good weapons. Very, very good weapons. So. Hmm. Altus will enable deep root stuff. Contagion? Well, we don't have any. That should do as well, leaving the whole noble gold mask. Tarnish, red scar for some guns, kind of like the Golden Order. Help him in research. Once we get to Altus, he'll do that. Okay, cool. Thanks. Do for you? Okay. And yeah, and the next thing to do would be to go to Celia Understair and work my way around. Big thing is. I should probably want to put on magic fortification. Maybe. It's interesting to think about in terms of what I want to do and how. Put our Bloodhound's Void back on Bloodhound's Fang back on. This is quite good. 405, now it's 429. Not crazy, but still good. And it's... Should we should make it daytime. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Okay. That... Mm, but it's the shroud around Celia that's making it like this, not anything else. But right, we should get magic fortification, because everything here is going to be doing magic damage, mostly. But not that... Red Slicer is good, but Flint Plans me. I. That shouldn't really matter all that much anymore. Should be fine. Then. Put on Magic Fortification for now. Run, no Lightning Fortification yet. 
then we put on Starlight and something like Gavel or Cannon. Cannon. Okay. Just probably put on Spell Drink. Should be good. Okay. Thank you very much. Should be in a decent position. Oh, well, never mind. Not like this. Magic Fortification. Okay. Take down these guys in one, two. We are mm, so very close to one tapping, but it's not quite there. That worked. Mm. It's the big sorcerer, so take more. So let's put down another treasure chest marker here, just so we remember for later. It does get a bit confusing otherwise, so... We start opening up all those doors. One, two, three, thank you. Alright. Simple enough. I did this on the mage build. I had to use Karian Slicer, which was suboptimal. Another one. Cool. Not like that. Cool. Mm -hmm. So then. So then. Go way around. We've been there before, but. Question is the Nox. And this is nothing. Message and then try door. Well, no. It's unusable. Not even actually a door. Presumably. Mm hmm. Am I gonna do this? My way up, and it's these trunks that let you get around. Oh, another golden seed. Nice. Let's put down another marker. Mm hmm. This golden seed. Yeah, yeah. I guess the big question is just, at what point will I have enough golden seeds to max up my flask uses? Gonna have to get to mountaintops first, or gonna do it while in Altus? Big thing is, Mogwin Dynasty Mausoleum might make a decent difference, but I'm not quite sure. If I had been faster, I could have taken him out before I even used that Ash of War, but whatever. Hmm. More of a sorcerer than a... True Glintstone Sorcerer, and I- alright, thanks. The fact that they do that pretty much immediately is kind of vile. Okay. So then, forking around, forking around. I think there is a Sight of Grace around this way, too. Well, I- okay. Oh, a Shard Spiral, okay. Well, that's new. Okay. Oh, uh, alright. Well, they don't do much damage to me. It's actually a surprise. Okay. I don't really need magic fortification then, do I? Probably not. It feels good to be able to just blow up everything in Sally without much in the way of trouble at all. Given how even late game with my mage build I was having trouble just because I had such little durability. Okay. Thank you. Die. Fragment and... Oh, a dog. Okay. More durable than the person. Okay. Funny. And... One, two, three. Okay. The Karian Sorcery Sword over there is apparently quite good. Did I... Now the wooden sword, the wooden sword that the sorcerers have, I, I don't know if they drop it or if I have to get it from somewhere else, but I know it's actually somewhat useful if you're going for a sort of intelligent spell sword build, I think, maybe. Oh my goodness, an Arteria leaf. So important to me. Can't live without him. So the big thing is that the end over here should be the... Nox Swordstress and Nox Priest. The big thing is that I'm wondering what kind of damage I'm going to want to deal to them. Mm. Oh, hello there. 
All right. One, two. A jump attack would probably one-tap them. Presumably it would. But I... And that... Well, it's just right over there. In that case, actually, I'll put on the Blessings Boon. And then just... Chug a flask and... Kill the big scarab for... The Blue Gatorade. Thank you. Well, oh, alright. Huh. Thanks. Slam it. What in the... Okay, can I... Can I... One... Okay. Luckily, I can just... Keep on moving and... Come on, come on. And... Really, really? You've got to be kidding. Come on. Okay. Well, there we are. How about that? So... So the question is... Do those just replenish a large amount of flasks, or do they replenish all flasks? That's my question. This thing is, even though we technically left, it's not like anything respawned. That's good. So then- oh, hello there, hi. Die. Oh, well, you did not die. Huh. Could technically be using my horse here if I really felt like it. Do not feel like it. So I- here's somebody. Zooey, that Ash of War is on a roof and- Oh, hi, and- oh, it's an avian net. Okay. Huh. I- okay. One, two. Yeah, before all that sparking tomfoolery. This is another spot. No, I marked that- I marked that already. Huh. In that case- hello, I'm- okay, alright. One, two. So once I open everything up, I can just go around. Collect all the treasures, be done with it. Yeah. Oh, hello there. Hi. And okay, alright. Please, please. And die. So there aren't too many of you. Thanks. Just... The fact that they're all invisible is cool. Especially since the invisibility sorceries are... A salient specialty. Mm-mm. Poison Grease. Okay. You know, I don't think they deserve that. Hmm. Sounds like an extension of austerity politics. Okay. How can I... Hmm. Take you out. Oh, and a, here's a painting. Nice. That... Hmm. This is over by the dunes, so red main painting. So that would be by the special bit of the special sanctum there, so oh hi. Not expecting that. Your slash and okay, cool. Slash again. Mm -mm. A row of fruit, not bad. I right. who is more avianets? Amazing. Okay. One, two, okay. Red main painting is... Hmm. Is that Beshel Sanctum or Castle... No, that's Castle... It should be Castle Red Main, right? Have to be over somewhere by the dunes where you can see that. Yeah, because that... There's nothing over there about the Beshel Sanctum, so... Hmm. All right, I guess we can just horse around, so to speak. Get back to where I need to go. Don't think there was anyone over there, so just climb up and oh, hello there, hi, nice. The oh my goodness, okay. Oh wow, all right. Horse is not a good idea because it maneuverability goes down significantly. And. Hmm. When am I going to get a flask use back? I might have to kill every single thing in this godforsaken town. Get a single flask use back, which, to be fair, would be a good way to tell when I've killed everything. But even still. Selling a backstreet's graces to eventually be... Is this the spot? No, no, no. 
a back street silly understair. Hmm. Probably be around the other way, because when I first went to Celia, that other playthrough, I came from the north because I would have gone from gone through Dragon Barrow, so it felt very different, <laughs> to say the least. Okay. With this way. Then hmm, let me think. Let's go to do this rooftop parkour, get around to that thing up top. That rooftop. Do I want to, let's just mark this over here this as well, because most of these things are pretty worth having. Wouldn't like to just ignore them. Note that this part of the map is also good, but mm, jumping onto that branch would be useful too. Okay. The source. Oh, hello there. Hi. And what? Well, never mind. One, two. It was more awkward than I might have liked it to be. But presumably there should be something still in here, because this is not actually... It's not a dungeon. So if I... If I defeat every enemy, I should get... Some flask uses back, and that should be a sign, but... Toxic Mushroom... How do I get up there? But I need momentum. Nothing quite there. And this is? Is this going to be? You know, it's actually Cerulean Tear Scarab. Weird. I thought it would be Staff of Loss or something. Cerulean Tears increases recovery effects, but increases damage taken. That is definitely not worth it. Oh, but what is interesting is that it... Cerulean Tears is that it's a reference to... The actual, you know, the Cerulean Tear Scarab item. I mean, enemies that we find that give us more flask uses, so. It's the Ash of War Scarabs, Incantation Scarabs, and then Glintstone Scarab, which is apparently not a quote-unquote sorcery scarab for whatever reason, is... So this is basically reverse fair on keep. Seal's broken in town somewhere. Go around and find it, but... Until we get... That's for sure we will. Let's open up all of them. No reason not to. There is a scarab somewhere that I do not quite see yet. Let's just use big ol' frenzied burst. Take this one down. Thank you. Wait. Okay. All right. Snipe this a bit better, maybe, but it might be an issue with the way it's aimed. Okay, we can kill Ashivore double slash. That's a good one. Keen, superior swordsman. Crossing slash attack from low stance. Repeated inputs to two follow-up attacks. Swords and poems capable of slashing. Huh. So what's in here? This is the stone sword key, which I have 18 of and don't use that many of. So it is good that they have more than enough of them, though. It's certainly better than the alternative. Of not having enough for all the uses to force multiple playthroughs. Because I had to use three or so to get in a round table hold the two fingers prayer book, but even then it's it's whatever. The spells weren't even all that good. It was really just vanity. Couldn't do it on that terrain because it was too uneven for torrent, I suppose, maybe. Hmm. Then get over here and then is, I think, on one of those balconies, so that should be a Staff of Loss, I believe. That over there, but the fact that I haven't got a flask back is, it's really weirding me out. Huh. So we go up here, take that down, but you probably need the horse for this, don't you? Maybe. That one's broken. What at the very end, though? Hello, and seal was broken in town, and that one over there is now broken, and that is presumably where the boss fight is. Get through Celia now. That item over there is going to be the Staff of Loss, which is going to be 
Actually, depending on the situation, one of my better casting options. And I, what's that? Oh no, that's just the grace. Step of was missing its glintstone, wielded by sorcerers who believe that discovery comes through acts of asceticism, which distinguishes itself in casting invisibility sorceries. That is reason enough for some to wield it, and it boosts night comet specifically in some other spells when you hold it either hand, which means you can use it to cast. Night Comet with a stronger staff, and still get the damage buff. Spell Drake plus one, that's good. We'll take that. Then we take that off. Find the others, a good thing is that since I didn't die in the meantime, do not have to worry about... Still running low, that sucks. Do not have to worry about having to work my way through it with enemies in the lane. Night Comet is 38. With a Talisman and a tier, I could use that. Semi-Invisible Magic Comet. This is actually one of the highest DPS spells in the game, especially at range. More flexible than other contenders like Crystal Torrent and Comet Azure. Sorcerer uses Sully. Semi-Invisible Magic Comet repeatedly while in motion can be charged for potency, selling sorcerers for assassins, so that they often hunted their fellows. Fair enough. What you gotta do sometimes, I guess. So that might come in handy later if I... I might actually use that on the Fallen Star Beast. The next ones. Said, I also do have the options of trying to use Moonlight Greatsword when I get it on them too. So remembering to actually poke around and find these is good. Imbued Sword Key. Oh, that means I can actually go to Far Missoula now. That's right. Well, a little bit of Far Missoula. Using the part of the Four Belfries. Interesting. Hmm. The crumbling lands, as they were called in that. And then, is that... Is that up on there, or... I think that was marking... Yeah, that Cerulean Scarab over there, so... That's fine. Don't need that. Got an Imbued Sword Key, we got Night Comet, we got a Spell Drake Talisman, and all those were quite good. I'm not complaining. So then we have three golden seeds, but this is Celia Backstreets, which means we can work our way around, which is nice. Over there to the boss fight, which I guess we could take on right now. No real reason not to. Question is, Nox Swordstress and Nox Priest. What are they weak to? Swiss, no, Nox Priest. To a boss, we could a holy and a sleep. How we to sleep? Holy, slash and holy. Nox falling hammer. Would sleep actually put them to sleep. Sleep vulnerable. Resistant. Staggers. That. Hmm. And then Nox. Nox Swordstress and Enemy. Nox. It does not say anything about the Nox. That's a bit annoying, frankly. So in that case, I... Yeah, it doesn't say anything about staggering, but if there are multiple... If there are multiple in there, I would honestly assume that... You can... Stagger them? Maybe. Hmm. Tough. I... Hmm. Big thing is they should be dealing magic damage, so keeping magic stuff on there would be good. They deal... No, they only deal physical. Okay. Huh. In that case, then, I... Uh, Golden Vow is good. Other stuff is good. They're also actually quite weak to... Slash. So I guess the question is, do I try to put Order's Blade on a Bloodhound's Fang, or just trying to think of how I want to do this thing. They're weak to Holy, so Ashes of War. You know, if I had gotten that Sanctified Wet Blade from Langdale, I could have done Lion's Claw with this, but that is not an option right now. Let's put on Sacred Blade, then. That's good. And this should be more than good for 
Wiping them out. Big heavy damage. Okay. And actually, probably the Kutra getting some use out of the Trina Sword. Uh, maybe put them to sleep. If I can put them to sleep like that, I'd be in a pretty good position. Well, we'll see what happens. Mm hmm. There. Put to sleep. Golden Vow. Flame grant me strength. Try some sleep. See what happens. Sure, we'll take that. Golden Vow, and oh, well. Actually. Oh, but I've got the wrong. Should be doing his Holy Shrouding Caractus here with Faith Boost. So, as of right now, it's intelligence with magic, which does very little for me. Go to the Physic. Flave and holy. There we go. And the talismans I have on right now should. No, no. I actually want this one. And even if we wanted Spell Drink, it would be a better one. This one is two a duo. Bull Ancient Dragon and duo of Bull Ancient Dragons. Okay. Let's just see how well sleep works against them. We can put them to sleep and keep them asleep. That would be quite nice. Like that. Blessing's Boon. Golden Vow. Flynn grant me. And actually, we'll use this right here in order to apply the sleep buildup right now. Well, that's interesting and different. Oh, they're high end. Oh my goodness. Alright. One, two, and can I... Mm, okay, okay alright. Can I... Oh, well, I'm actually in a bad position in terms of... Oh, is that... Mm, red heavy load. Okay. So then I... Can I... What? Maybe I should actually... Quit out. Yeah. Okay. That was almost good. It's almost pretty good. Almost. The big thing is that I saw the sleep rock and messed up. Hit her another time when I shouldn't have and probably didn't want to. Main issue is actually getting the sleep messed up would probably serve me better. The real question is just there is a fog wall after them. I'm wondering if it's going to lead to something like a dungeon or if it's just some chest behind there. Hmm. We'll see. If I don't need to cast any sorceries right now, yeah, I'm at a pretty narrow breakpoint via the equip load, so let's stick with that. Try putting them to sleep, see if it staggers them or actually does something. I'm pretty sure it just staggers them, but we'll see. May as well test it. And the and grant me strength. Okay. Then we'll use the Mist of Slumber right over here. We'll lure them in to a point where we can just do that. And cool. Can I? All right. And well, okay. Oh, that was very short lived. Huh. All right. And can I? One, two, and okay. All right. Can we? Mmm. Mm -hmm. Can I? One. Uh, thanks. Two, and is that all right? Can I no, dodge? Dodge. Mm -hmm. Tough. All right. And dodge, dodge. Can I, thank you. And I, oh, interesting. That. No, it's just stagger. I am. This is not how it's going to work. Okay. So the only thing I can do is just hammer with holy on it, blitz them down. Yeah. At least that shouldn't be all that bad. It, they're not all that durable, it seems. So if I do actually just hit them, it should work fine. It, it really does seem like the only things I'll actually be able to sleep on to any real degree of effectiveness are just going to be godskins, which isn't bad because godskins are annoying enough that good would be worth it. 
even with 10 humans is good, it's just uh, scaling is a bit of an issue. Sacred Blade on this thing. It's going to be my source of holy damage. Do not have any other way to really do it. Let's put on Blessing's Boon. Put on Golden Vow. Flame grant me strength, which won't last all that long, but let's see what happens. Just blitz them, we should be good. Oh, they're in, just... Thanks, alright, and oh my, okay, wow, alright. That was actually kind of ridiculous. Can I... S or, okay, can I... Slam, and another... Mm, okay, dodge, mm. Can we... Slam it... Mm. Another... Slam it, there we are. Okay, it was really that easy. Knox Flowing Sword, and what's on the other side? Hidden <laughs> path ahead. No, not really. Oh, there was a there is a grace here. For some reason. Okay. Knox Flowing Sword is a curved sword slash damage. Swordsman of the Eternal City, which one probably Eternal City's plural. Not specified in Japanese, I bet. From weapon wielded, weight of spawn is a needle, liquid metal, the silver tier, thoroughly templered, and so hardened. Forms are meant into liquid form, like a whip sweeping slice over a wide area. Huh. That's actually just... I want to see what that does real quick. Test out that weapon art just for fun. See what it looks like. And is that... And that does put me at heavy load. Kind of crazy. But it's... Only... A weapon skill that lets you do that. Huh. Yeah, that is lackluster. So... This is... It's gonna be Nox Swords Risen. Chair Crypt of Celia. Huh. Oh, and it's... Yeah, that's a chair, so it's... Like those parts of the Eternal Cities. To represent the connection between the two uh, Lissat's Glintstone Staff. Can't use that yet. Primeval Glintstone Sorcerer Lissat. It boasts what beyond, lies beyond the wisdom of stone may wield it. Power of all sorceries, but consumes additional FP. It's so not Azores and Lissat's. That's actually going to be, once I can wield it, the highest damaging one for a good amount of... Or, it's going to be the best one for buffing if I ever use something like Scholar's Armament, which to be fair, I probably won't. But Prince of Death Staff is going to be better than it at any point where I can actually wield both. It's kind of sad to say and see. Hmm. So other than Red Main, I'm wondering what else there is to get. To get to Red Main, I'd have to go around as well. Hmm. Way over here in the courtyard we have that misbegotten the Crucible Knight, but before that there are some things over here I'd like to grab. And I actually go over to Millicent now. Well, there's also Celia Hideaway. So I think that red mate will probably have to wait until next time. Most likely. What do I have equipped right now? It. I guess I can keep that. I am going to be fighting that troll. Mm -hmm. Probably putting on the... Actually, sacred... There is a graveyard around here, so that might actually be good for me. We'll see. Have mercy. Ha have mercy. I hear various things. Oh, there you are. Oh well. 2,159. Well, I'll, I'll take it. I will, in fact, take it. What's that? He is really good on a dedicated intelligence build, but otherwise... And it does show how Celia is Eternal City related, and their night sorceries are also very specifically... They share the same sigil, more or less, as the Nox sorceries. Not Nox sorceries, but... Are there Nox sorceries? I I think there should be at least one, if I recall correctly, but I... Well, when I find one, I'll know. But just... The added holy damage and the damage boost from 
against Undead from the skill. Really, really strong. Really, really strong. Should be here. Someone popping up, but it is another dungeon run. Oh, a okay, you know, go ahead. Send big boulders down at me. Then, was that all, or? Yeah, but the first time I went to Sally, I went around the back way, which made things a bit different, especially since I couldn't normally get back in. Because of the way that it's still blocked off until you light all the torches. So, so I think what I'd like to do is talk to Gallery and see if there's any special dialogue since we've actually made it through Celia, even though we haven't given the needle to Millicent yet, plainly. So we can just jump up on the side, and that is why you stay on your horse. I don't wonder what they intended, intended from that, though. Why they might have done such a thing. Okay, well... Hmm. I swear that that buff never lasts as long as I would like it to. Like it to? Like in Mario? I'm just saying nonsense at this point. I need to be put down like some kind of rabid animal. Okay. So the graveyard over here by Church of the Plague is a pretty good place to farm. Executioner's Great Axe, but... If I do that, I probably will do that, but not right now. Oh, hello, Kindred of Rot. Thank you, and alright. Oh my goodness, I, okay. Alright, and that was not great. Dodge, dodge. One, two, three. Okay. Cool. That was a closer call than it should have been. And, okay, Millicent. Hello. Commental Bud. Sacred Tear. So, like cruel, vile people, we can ignore Millicent for a little bit. And they... The sacramental buttons do not respawn. There we are. Another Sacred Tear and... Flasher it. In the end, I think three of them are all in mountaintops of the giants, if I recall correctly. Which is mostly, I would say, you know, help you catch up if you missed a bunch. Not a bad idea, though. True to the plague. And up here should be Celia Hideaway, which will be another dungeon to go through. But this is behind here. Let me see. Oh, hello. One, okay, alright. One, two. It's actually more damage on horseback, it seems. It's weird. Not in a bad way, but it is weird. And I know the red main painting, and I think it should be over there. I think I actually can see the see the guy a little even. Okay. Let's go around. Probably activate another side of the race over by the hideaway, and then we can get cracking on Millicent's quest line, but it's also all that. Hmm. Presumably we would go through there over to the other side, and then that tower should have hopefully something worth getting. Given how much you have to go through to just get to it. Well, you never know. So what does this say? Read the message. Praise the Elden Ring. For what? Inflicting a random rotten humanoid, because it's presumably you know, they spawned from millennia, so oh my goodness okay spawned from millennia, so they wouldn't really be human, even if they look humanoid it'd be some sort of rot life form, but it doesn't seem like they'll actually go inside which is interesting I, okay, come on, okay can I, please, please thank you Oh, and that one had gold in its eyes. Interesting. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Best thing to do right now would be for me to avoid dying. That needle will eventually help her once I actually come back and do the right thing. Another arterial leaf. It. <laughs> the joke really does write itself sometimes. This is actually a bit like some of the architecture around Limgrave. Hmm. 
sort of the barrier between Limgrave and the peninsula, but... Hmm. Starlight Shards. By the graveyard, over by there, and... Celia Hideaway should be up here, I think. But for now, let's kill these octopuses. They're an eyesore. Disappear. Thank you. Actually, Starlight down first. Let's get that going. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And, okay, we're still dealing enough damage to kill the small ones in one hit, which is kind of the important thing. It's kind of my sign for whether I'm in a good position to fight them or not. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And... Oh. Hmm. Let's get over it. Can I... Can I even... Does not seem like I can cut them off all that competently from this distance. I guess I have to hack at them from their bases, maybe? It's hard to say. Hard to tell. And I... Well... If the bleed works, the bleed works. Be interesting if it took less damage from a bleed proc, race where you hit it to make it proc. For one, it wouldn't make any sense either, but... And it would just be incredibly frustrating, but it would be interesting. Mainly in the sense of interesting why the developers might choose such a thing. The big thing is that, weirdly enough, you can actually roll through a bleed proc. If it... Cut and gatekeeper are those returning it. Oh, you have to work your way all the way. Ooh, that's funky. That's really fun, we have to work our way down all the way over there. So if there are multiple dungeons, not just sell you hideaway up there, yeah, this is what I'm going to do for my remaining time. Red main is not happening today. And oh, Executioner's Great Axe. Put our sacred Curve Great Claw back on. It's already more than halfway to maximum upgrade, which is kind of crazy to think. That was a good amount of gold. I... One of those guys should give me the Executioner's Great Axe. I'm begging. It's good enough. Then, oh, but, wait. Is jumping ahead? That is not true. That can't be true. Oh, presumably it's pointing to the Hero's Tomb. Yeah, it's pointing to the dungeon in the... Where is it? Is it pointing the dungeon up? I can't even tell at this point. Because there is a singular dungeon in... You have to drop down from there? I can't even tell. Singular dungeon, but it's all the way around here, in that big desert area that otherwise is just an arena for the Star Scourge for Dawn fight. I... hear a scarab. Is that it over there? It does not seem to be the case, but... It's just, for an area that's just sort of the Celia's backyard, there's a lot more than I expected to see here. And weirdly enough, it seems that holy damage is working pretty well on the Kindred of Rot, which I wouldn't expect given that they are, you know, the children of Millennia, who is a, you know, urgery royalty goddess. But, you know, wonders never cease. You know, it, they put a lot of things in this game. There's only consistent, there's only so consistent they could be. That is something people talk about, to a decent extent, with regards to FromSoft, that a big reason they can put out very high quality games in a relatively short amount of time, you know, in terms of gameplay, is that they don't do a lot of things just to show off, and there's a lot of asset reuse. Not in a bad way, it's actually... It is an art. And a lot of things that get reused are things that did not make it in previous games. It's more co content reuse, actually making its way into a game. Because, for example, the ulcerated tree spirit boss from... Elden Ring was originally the... A boss known only as Snake Soul in the files of Dark Souls 3. That was originally going to be an extra boss and a big sort of dark enemy based on the darkness of man. But what is interesting is that the Ulcerated Tree Spirit is a boss that can be found in, among other places, the dungeon off the side of the very starting area of the game. Well, not the chapel, but 
once you lose to the initial boss, it puts you in the... But what was that? What kind of weird pick was that? It's actually really cool. But, got more of that, that's nice. But, when you go to the Stranded Graveyard and go out, there's the... French Folk Hero's Grave right over here. And it has an ulcerated tree spirit at the end. The one of the extra bosses, optional secret super hard things from Dark Souls 3 ended up being only just a sort of mini boss in a dungeon accessible from the very beginning of the game in Elden Ring. Which says something about and Dark Souls 3 was already, in my opinion, the hardest Dark Souls game. And the fact that that thing, the Snake Soul Extra Boss, which was scrapped, and to be fair, they might have scrapped it because it was too easy for something that late in the game, or changed up the moveset of the Snake Soul, specifically in the process of it becoming the Ulcerated True Spirit. But just, those are, those are all hypotheticals. What we do know is that there was an enemy that was supposed to be a super hard extra. Well, I can see that skull over there. Giant skull over there, giant skull over there. Probably related to the giants in the Eternal Cities, but still really not enough to say for sure. But, something that was an Nintendo P8. Super hard extra boss in some form became a normal enemy in Elden Ring, which, even with potential hypothetical differences, it just says a lot of very funny things about the game. And there are people on the internet and elsewhere basically saying that, especially in light of the DLC, that in terms of pure just mechanical execution difficulty, that Elden Ring very well may be, essentially, as far as FromSoft can really go without sacrificing appeal to pretty much anyone at all beyond their most hardcore fans. Because... One thing about Elven Ring is that via via its difficulty, I would say it's simultaneously the hardest Souls game and the easiest Souls game. Because it has really, really hard enemies that you can end up fighting. But also a lot of ways to get around them, bypass them through various means. In part because the vast majority of them are entirely optional. There are multiple routes of progress, multiple ways to play the game. You don't need to do stuff like that. Oh, 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 okay, that was a... Gavel of Hyma Skeleton? I mean, Cannon of Hyma Skeleton? Oh, but no, this is a Hyma Sorcerer. I am just an imbecile. Okay, thanks. Okay. Dodge, dodge. Can I... Dodge, can I... One, two... So they have a good deal more poise than others. Big thing is, Sally Hideaway should be just over here. Yep, and the body of Ancient Sorcerer Lassat should be passed here, but we do not have the key to actually access his body yet. There is no way for me at the moment to actually obtain Stars of Ruin from him, and even if I did, I wouldn't be able to make much use of it. But I guess we'll get a confirmation on whether the Rosa statue there was pointing to that one hero's grave. I think that's... The hero... I don't know which one it is specifically, but the hero's grave over there. In the desert that you can only access by just poking around the Radon arena after you've already killed Radon. But hello there, hi. Hello, Skeleton Knight. And... Mm -hmm. And a lot more than I expected. Amazing. Okay. Come on. Thank you. Hmm. Interesting. And that did not give me back a flask. So are there more in the group, or was it just one that does not give rewards, really? Both are equally plausible. Not oh, hello. I may as well just keep smashing your faces in. Oh, but mm, we need more of that. Okay, cool. And do we... Huh. 
It's kind of strange. Okay. Question is, how many? <laughs> Whether I need four or if I need five, I still don't have enough either way. Let's work our way down and go to that area down there past Church of the Plank and see what we can find. Come on, come on. Millicent's over there. Millicent is actually glowing gold, so... Mm -hmm. The big thing is... What was that? Oh, the sparks I saw were the effect disappearing from my weapon, and now that's disappeared too. Amazing. That is a chanting winged dame, and I believe they're weak as uh, lightning, if I recall correctly. If I want to be funny, I could try dropping down on Celia. Is there a reason to do that? Not a good one. Okay. Use lightning spear. Thank you. And all right, both of these chanting winged dames. Thank you. And the poison they spread goes quite far. Huh. Thank you. Another one. There we go. Oh, but get more range off of a fully charged cast too. That's part of the that is part of the equation then. Golden rune nines. Interesting. That could have been nice to get from the one in Weeping Peninsula if I hadn't messed things up and fallen to my death. I mean, let it fall off after I killed it, that is. Stand there, huh. I have to figure out how to get over to that Hero's Grave eventually, and I hope to restore poison grease to the lump. Quickly cope, grave effect only a small size. Let's see, and I. Hmm. I'd have to charge it. May as well. Okay. It's also cool just seeing the lightning bolt effect. And I... Uh, hmm. Lots of these chanted... Chanting Wing of Danes. Honestly, kind of weird. Okay. Thank you. That's yeah, just... You get a lot of golden runes for whatever reason. Thank you. And another bat. It... It's a good high damage projectile, that is all I can really say. And another one tossing and... Oh, that... The fact that they get Lightning Spear comped in homing, as well as made enemies not even dodge it, is kind of crazy. But it does give it a lot more use cases than it might have, given the fact that... There aren't a lot of things in this game that Lightning Damage is actually specifically effective on. It's kind of weird. Oh, but... Nighttime presumably more of them show up than before. So I mm -hmm. Alright. Gotta pivot real quick. And oh thanks. It's the damage there is not really much. And okay. Cerulean. Thank you. And we will this hit. It did not hit. Come on, come on. And alright. Toss and another one. Thank you. Huh. Golden rune. Golden rune. Hmm. How do I? That's over there, so... That's... If only I could do it while jumping. Now, that would be very, very useful. However, it's over here. So it is golden rune. Does not seem like... Chairs over here, so red main painting would probably be... Somewhere by Impassable Grey Bridge, I presume. Hmm. That bridge should lead to the proper location, but it's going to be silly a hideaway. Next. That dungeon, we'll see how long it takes. Demi humans here for some reason. Okay. I wonder if I can blow up those pots from range using something. Just get a kill. That'd be funny. I could spend a great bow shot attempting such a thing. Hello? Hi, and yep, it's nighttime, so they're all crazy crazy. Cool. Thank you. Hit. And then. Another. There we go. Nice. And. Yeah, that worked. It was a completely depleted enemy group. How do I want to get around then? Then, to get down there, is the question. 
Where would I actually... Let's just check. Red main painting. Gives you... Rain of Arrows. Cliff Plateau, Minor Urgery, and Dragon Barrow. Oh, okay. Huh. South of the... Map, Long Tail Cat, Roll Not Jump. That, hmm. Using the spirits written close by Fort Feroth. I... Which is southeast of the modern Urdri, so in that case... Oh, so it'd be right over there. So there's no sense in trying that right now. Don't even have good access to it. Okay. Flight pinion, no foot. Kinda sad. And I... is that... If you can get, can get through there, well, you kind of have to, so... Otherwise, there'd be no good way to get over there. Hmm. Put on Golem Greybow, try blowing that up. Hmm. Rain of Arrows is good, but I'd also be able to just use Radon's Rain from the normal, usual Lion's Greybow once I kill Radon. And I think I'll be making a bow from his remembrance in lieu of the. Oh, and, oh there's a Death Right Bird. Right. Death right. Okay, I should probably be shot. Bell bearing hunter. Bearing hunter. Is there one in Caled? There's one in Dragon Barrow, but not in Slated Merchant's Shack, but we need to check for Yeah, I could kill that Death Right bird too, but not in a great position. I actually am in a fine position to do it. But even still I should go down there in a bit. But there are Knights Cavalry here too, and that would be. Do like Quick Hunt could be a good way to finish things out. So we'll do it. Ah, uh, you know, no reason not to use my buffs. So. But Flame. Golden Vow. Flame Brandy Strength. There we got it. Cool. Let's do this thing. Sky out, and will we be able to. Nice, and. Slash, and how did that miss? I am going insane. Huh. I. Alright, and. Dodge. Cool. One. Two, and. Huh? Okay. Alright, and. Huh. Oh, weird. I. I. Dodge. Okay, cool. One. Two, and. Can we. There. Oh, the blood flame did it. That works. Huh. Please behold revenge. Big question is, would I be able to prevent? Does that guy respawn? That's the big question. Well, in the end, I'm not really going to be going through the silly entrance again. Well, actually, maybe to get to Gallery. We'll see. Surprise attack. What is around there then? I. Huh? Weird. Thing up top, or what's the answer? Black key bolt. The crossbow. Oh, hello there. Hi. Two and okay, there were a bunch of them. You were over here, so one, two, and three. All right. That was funky. Well, these marked the area, so interesting. This is golden rune. That's silly a hideaway in a few. Enemies to hunt down. Should be good. But doing this at night time though is not the most pleasant of experiences. Which is pretty hard to see, but these great sparks, you know, presumably they're related to the rot, but the specific relationship eludes me. So what is going to be at the top of this tower of all places? I hmm. Worry of left. So what then is... Huh? Maybe going up the tower? Or... Or something? Or... Oh, it's a... A bloodhound knight is chilling out there for some reason. Great. 
So, that was a good thing to hear about. Thank you. Lightning Spear, and probably just chugging that flask. Sake of it, and they are weakest to lightning, so. Well, this, that won't quite work. Thank you, and, oh, all right, thanks. Can we, there we go, and, well, it's dead now. Cool. Nothing dropped, really, but Swamp Lookout Tower, and what's in here? This is, oh, Eternal Darkness, and that Forbidden Sorcery of Sally Town of Sorcery spits a darkness that draws in sorcerers and incantations. Sorcery can be cast while in motion. Originally a lost sorcery of the Eternal City, despair that brought about its ruin made manifest. Result would be the Astals, or Estals, or the big sort of dragonfly space creatures, dragonfly aliens. Use that incantations. So actually, the death bird's right over there. Should probably want to find it off now. It is almost daytime, so let's make it night again. But actually, we could also level up and boost my faith a little to get more damage out of that. Because I get the faith in holy, so make it nightfall. Kill that death right bird. There should be a couple of knights cavalrymen around Caled. What I recall. That. Go up to where the Deathrite bird is. When I saw it before, it was just prowling around. Yeah, it's just prowling. It's a surprise to me. And I. Get our buffs back. Got six boon. Six boon. Golden vow. Flame grab me strength, and that won't be all that much there, but we're... Okay. Oh, goodness. Okay. Come on, come on, and I... Dodge it. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Can we swing and... Oh, my... Oh, all right. I do not like that. Death blight buildup is bad news for me. I... Okay. Amazing. Not really. An... Oh, well, we... Okay. Huh. I... Can I slam it? No. No. Can I slam it? Can I... Well, okay. That's good damage, but it's not... Amazing, amazing damage. And I dodge. Okay, cool. And well, wait, what? Huh? I okay. Do dodge it. Heal, heal. I this is not amazing for me. And dodge it. Okay, death white shriek is not great for me. I spin and huh? I okay. Oh, all right. Did not expect that. What? Huh? Okay. Well. So, maybe it's partially because they killed me pretty fast. Well, I mean, I killed the other Deathrite bird in Lyrinia pretty fast, so... Huh. Okay. Was not expecting that. <laughs> Make it night time. Rune's back. Take that thing down as quick as possible. Jumping light attack should be my way. Even with the, these ones honestly seem balanced around, having the anti-undead damage bonus. If anything. Six boon. And golden vow for sure. Maybe probably flame grant me strength. And then just like that. Flame grant me strength. And come back on that end. Can we Cool. Thank you. Can I? Just like that, and dodge it. Okay, thank you. Can I, can I slam, slam, okay, nice, and another dodge, and can I, thank you, and heal, well, it either dies quick or I die quick. All right, and me fell. And then, good amount of runes, death's poker. It's actually pretty good for some things. The big thing is that it can, the DLC's furnace schools are very weak to it for some reason. Because it deals a lot of hits, which is... And they have a unique special stance system that just amounts of hits taken. Frost buildup. Raw rod carried by death roots. Graveyard fire keepers. Wake out the ashen, res ashen remains of the dead from their kilns. Birds and its magic and frostbite, even though it's... It's a cold fire. Ghost limb ignition. Barb rod. Temple up with ghost flame. While attacks set the ground up bullies with ghost flame or a strong attack to trigger a massive explosion. No, if it works, it works. So... Now we've killed that thing. I 
Well, we're about as close to Gowrie as we'd other ones be, so we found Millicent in the church. Let's go back to Gowrie. We might be able to buy some rot incantations for him or something. Maybe. Boy, those guys. And I think... That troll is almost definitely dead for good now, which is nice. That said, if I really wanted to, I could have probably sniped it from the downside if I'd felt like it. Huh? Around this annoying giant dog. It's not a rotten dog. Hello there. Gary Shack. Deliver the needle. Okay, so nothing new. Okay. Makes sense. Church of the Plague. Give this to Millicent. I should be able to find her in. Wayndale next. Hi, hello. Who is that? Who's that? Well, Why is leave immediately? Who doesn't these days? Because Not to be meddled by man. Give a gold needle. Stab myself with it. With well, the scarlet rot. Oh. How? The ire. Gowrie. <laughs> Tell her about Gowrie. Right. Decided. I've decided. Can I made that trust you. Mm -hmm. But she's not human, presumably. Your eyes for a moment. It's gonna go black, or...? Ah, oh, it's just like when Kuro cuts himself with a mortal blade and Sekiro, you don't... It's the black because you're closing your eyes. So it was actually a cutscene, interesting. Hmm. Uh-oh. So this should actually... Presumably, Gowrie's intention was not to quell the Scarlet Rot, but hasten her transformation into a sort of millennia-like creature. Oh, while well, she's standing up, hello. Oh, and now her hair's in a ponytail. And you probably could even thank you. Cease to arrive. Members have abated. Move as I please. To repay you. Have its spell with thanks. Token though it is. And Ah, oh, prosthesis wear heirloom, and that's a dexterity bonus. Weaving on a journey, beetle my flesh over call, but dimly. Can't find the location of the needle, though. My memory. Destiny. And what is that? Fate permits it to meet again. Weaving on a journey, okay. Hmm. Okay. So I guess Gallery would probably have something to say about that. So we're resting, make her disappear and move on, or... Yeah, she's gone already. Okay. So eventually we'll reach the halo tree and find her there, but... Big thing is... I think she's at least a... I think she's a summon in Lane Dell for... The Godskin in Windmill Village, which... I should not need, but the big thing is... Should be able to buy some incantations, maybe? Where it might actually be at the very end of the quest line, as in, once I've reached the Halo Tree, that I can actually buy stuff from Gallery. We'll see. For this, yeah, it's Celia Hideaway, then. Maybe I'll fight the Knight's Cavalry in first. The question is what he's going to give us. Prosthesis Square Heirloom. Seen from a heroic tale, versus X35. It doesn't say 5, but it's 5. Born to the Accursed Rot. Young Cruel Encounter Mentor and his Fooling Blade gained wings of unparalleled strength. That's about millennia and the dancing swordsman who taught her. Taught her and. Oh, hello again. Felt familiar to me. So I'm gonna find someone here. Only find emptiness. Someone to say farewell to. Hm. Well, Never mind that focus. Have you to thank. Must stay strong. Well, I must okay, so if I teleport over here, she won't be here. But the question is when she goes Gowrie be back oh well it says Sage Gowrie is there so so presumably I didn't even really bother checking the map for the icon but presumably he wouldn't have been there before so go back talk to him but his reason for avoiding Millicent I suppose will remain unknown to us so go back inside hmm Okay. Take on. Well, avoid the dong as per usual. No reason to fight it. It is funny that he arguably has a guard dog. 
Which is... It does innately aggro, okay. For a second I thought it might not. Whatever. Can I... And... Hmm. Can I... Oh, it spits rot. Okay. Amazing. And can I... Another one. It, okay, cool. It does not appear to have a melee hitbox like me. Lightning Spears in actual original Souls games, which, kindly, Needle the Millicent can begin a journey. Fate is right in the eye. Saint the run through, part you my knowledge, all sorcery sounds the sense of the eternal. City, city sorcery isn't. Well, it. Oh, Night Shard, but we do have. We already have Glintstone Stars from the Sorceress. Whatever. It's mostly there because it's Celia, you know? Semi invisible, but we already have Night Comet, yeah. Before the other action, if you've been through Celia to find Nelson, which you probably would be on the intended path, scrolling up from down from Dragon Bear is not immediately obvious. Have Night Comet, but this is okay too. My main's miss, but it's either Ambush Shard or Night Shard that for whatever reason does not get the benefit of Staff of Loss for some reason. It's weird. Seven Silver Mist before the caster, damage shall caught within, including the caster. Sorcery can be cast while in motion below Sally, Eternal City of New York Sleep. Sorcery originates from the maidens of that place. Mm -hmm. So pay to visit, notice did you? Huffle of a home. Memories eaten away, remain but faintly, no need of me anymore, and I must embark, surfeit the beyond, must impede. This would aid the beyond, is to be forgotten. Hmm. Okay. Goes unharmed, stuff to be a great warrior. Millennia, one arm, yet presses Leon. I didn't see that part. Huh. Need for something else? Hmm. Do you? Alright. Bought his sources. This question is I want to check one more time to see if there's anything else he does. There's probably no. But. So, yeah, I'll need to go through all the way until Halo Tree to get past the Reds, but. Past the Reds is. Only 12 faith requirement, which you might think makes it weak. It shoots those sticky threads that those bugs with glaives, those kindred of rot enemies had before. Let's use the ashes I got relatively shortly ago. Would be, yeah, these guys. Enemies by secreting sticky threads, and they. They're a bit like Shard Spiral, which is a sorcery in that they can pass through enemies multiple times, and if they're big enough, and then do damage for a bunch, may help. Okay. Okay. In that case, where is the other... No, it's Cavalry. Cavalry. One in Kaelid. Kaelid, Altus, Kaelid in. Okay, so it's actually Kaelid and then Dragon Barrow. Those are separate. Poison Moth Flight. Hmm. Map link to Kaelid. Kaelid, Knights Calvary. Kaelid Highway South. Okay, cool. So it would be over this way then. Pretty close to here. Make it nighttime. My stuff ready, put some lightning on. Lightning Blade would be good. Spell, put on... Actually, so with Blood Flame Blade, unless... Eh, we'll stick with... Lightning. Because Blood Flame Blade is most effective on things that already have... Bleed build up, really. It's night time, which means we can... Put on our quality great epee. Probably use... A tier that increases strength and dex. Strength, Dex, it's time to kill that guy. Should be around this area by the Cathedral of Dragon Communion. So our Exyches was, but we, I did blow him up, so that's nice. What I have, I do have Negation Boost. There he is. Hello there. Let's take our time buffing. Blessings Boon is good. Shavar Armament is good. Golden Vow is good. Take some time though, and it seems they see me. Mm -hmm. That ends. Alright, there we go. 
Just run this bad boy and just stab it. Okay, cool. Amazing. Can I kill the horse or... There we are, but I... Mmm, okay. Can I... Thanks. And dodge and... Mmm. Grammy strength is not going to be under too much longer, but I... Thanks. And should be able to hit the horse now and... Okay, nice. We... Okay, cool. And while we, while we get up... Can we... Nice. Killed with that dismount. Okay. That was a quick fight. Then... Ash of War Poison Moth Flight. Slash with the Poison Fuse Blade. FF up Strike lands on a Poison Foe. Deals significant damage. The DLC adds a much better version of that. And by much better, I mean actually usable. And it's actually very good, too. It's... It's called the Poison Flower Blooms Twice. It's interesting because it actually inflicts Scarlet Rot, not Poison. They should... Are they going to be shooting threads? They don't seem to chase that far. The big thing is, past that Haima Sorcerer, we should be able to access Celia Hideaway. And I think that will be the final thing I do today, because Red Mane take a while. It's already waiting. Also, because my... Oh, because my antenna was positioned badly, I do need to go and stitch the VOD back together. I can't directly upload it to YouTube from Twitch like I have taken to doing. So, sell you hideaway, and... Boss in here is Rotten Crystallians, if I recall correctly, so... Magic Fortification would actually be pretty good. So... It will be until Farm Azula that I get... Oh, that, that's also right. Got another imbued sword key. I need to remember to... I will put this right here. Just above it so when I look at the map I'll see it again. Do a tiny part of Farm Azula and get some talisman that will not be worth it. Using that final imbued sword key and that's... That... I could do pretty much everything in Lyrinia. Before going to Altus. Well, before going to Altus for real, because the Amber Starlight that we got for Cellulus to take a bit more. So, spell, tank, it's good. Get rid of that. Yeah, we actually have most of what we need. But I I guess if we really wanted to, we could put. <laughs> no, eh. Lightning would probably be my best option. Yeah, against the uh, Crystallians or weakest to uh, Crystallians. Crystallians. Rotten Crystal. Putrid. Not rotten, but putrid. They're actually the same amount of weak to every given. Huh. And that would be 147. So actually, Scholar's Armament would be my best option, which is funny to think. Let's do that. Or I guess I could try upgrading Finger Seal or using... I could actually be... It is time to actually start using Godslayer Seal, I think. So I can actually use it now, and it would be my best Pure Faith Seal. Won't do as much damage, but if I want to actually use weapon buffs, it's going to be my best option. Well, Faith-related weapon buffs, so... Let's go back real quick, upgrade that thing. See what it puts my magic, my spell buff at. So in Dark Souls 1, it was magic adjust. Dark Souls 2 is also magic adjust. It was Dark Souls 3 that turned it into spell buff, which just... It does not mean anything different, but whatever. And I... But that uses... Oh, that uses normal smithing stones. Ha. Huh. In that case, I... Hmm... I would be able to take it a plus five, which... We'll see if it's any better than Golden Order Seal, the way it is right now. So I need to buy a few more smithing stones, so... Take that and... Hmm. What is interesting is that both the level one somber minor bell bearing and level one normal smithing stone minor bell bearings Put the glints and scraps in inventory, so there's a bit of redundancy. Thops is Bell Bearing Shop 1, that's just Thops, and it's all stuff we've gotten already. Purchase, and we can get that if we want it, but we don't need it. Not right now, we don't. So, now we just 
Yeah, we can, no, we can take it a plus seven, which is also good, but we need, we need two more of the level two smithing stones. They really should have moved. Blacksmith Hugh somewhat close to the Maiden Huss. Whatever. Now that would be a cool quality of life update in the DLC, but well, whatever. So the question is, will Rajir die when I get the Finger Slate, or survey when I give it to Ronnie? Strength and end, Catalyst. 129, 131, 133, 135, 137, 139, 142, and it still is not as strong in terms of buffs. It's crazy to think about. So yeah, Scholar's Armament would still be my best bet, but actually, if we're we've already teleported out, we may as well just go to Farm Azula now and then go through Celia Hideaway. So, they sort of start with the earliest. Well, that's just the chest. So, that's chapel. This is... Nokron. Well, it's really more like Sifra, but... That's gone ceasing. And what was the name for this again? So we went back to the tutorial. We thought that graphic sound that killed us initially. Precipice of Anticipation. So, from right to left, they go from earlier to later in the game. The very starting area to... Arguably the very final area, at least the final area that isn't a variant of another area that can't coexist with it that early in the game. It's crumbling lands, so we put in our final imbued sword key, which is, let's check that. Get the seal sending gate and surrounding the belfry, uses an item think well before using one rich blue magic. Let's check, and it was a stone key like a special item, yeah. Interesting, because... Yeah, one is just here in the Belfries, another one was in the Academy, but then there was one over in Salia, which has connections to the Academy, but is not technically the Academy. Okay. Hello, Crumbling Farm is... Oh, oh, we got some vertigo going on here. Funky. And this is, well, far away enough that we can't go there yet, and it's all the way over here. Great. Oh, but I think it's not now that we've been here that we can see that, but presumably getting the mountaintops of the giant's map will make it visible, but let's see, we're just over here. It's late night, but you can't really see anything because it is outside time. I thought my shadow was an enemy for a second. It's too far away to jump to. I can't guess that, but that big... Central Pavilion, or Pantheon-like structure, I guess. That's the first comparison that comes to mind for me. Is going to be the site of the start of Endgame. And yep, you see these big dragons. and they're So these are drakes, presumably, because they've only got two wings. But they're four-winged dragons down elsewhere in this crazy place. It's a very, very fun area. And, but it was very, very difficult to do with a pure mage build. Now, the reasons you can see that isolated Divine Tower over there, the waterfall that drops down, and now you can see the Forge of the Giants over that way, on mountaintops of the Giants, past the Lane Dale and Altus over there, and you can hardly see anything on the lower part below Altus, but you can barely make out Bestial Sanctum over here in Kaled. It, it is very cool to be able to see everything at once, but it does arguably make the world feel a little smaller, even though it's massive. And, oh my goodness, these guys are crazy, crazy high HP. Well, I, the nice thing is I can snipe them without worry, <laughs> and I think that's what I'll do. There is zero reason for me to fight there here. It's... we may as well go for the Frenzied Verse. But that's a big beast man. Hmm. Okay, so how much are we going to get from killing this guy? 
an okay amount. The other thing is making sure that my madness buildup does not just kill me outright. Hold gorgeous view. It's quite nice, yeah. Question is, how much damage this guy would deal to me if I actually got hit by his attacks? It's worrisome. Thank you, and can I... Thanks. Just kind of pin you down. Could maybe push you over the edge. Literally, if I was... Huh. Strange. Get to a point where I can hit you without... You know, we ball. We ball. Let's just get this beast man over here. And can I flash? And can I just... This is a... Okay, position. And can I... Okay, alright. Nice. Can I... Can I... Okay, move in for the bloodhound. And it's such a good skill. So what else is over here? Nothing there. If I recall correctly, there should be some talisman over here. As a reward for... All my hard work and effort. So I... Bird tree, I want to go home. Floating rocks in this storm, too. And is this it? Madness ahead, okay. Whatever it is, is just down there, but... I thought one beast man... Beast... Beast man... Beast man... Beast man of farm Azula. As a boss in Wimbrave at the end of a very early dungeon. It's kind of crazy to foreshadow that. Cruel Drake Talisman, non-physical damage negation, all elements. Well, of Living Rock, Pearlescent Ancient Dragon, and presumably I should be able to get higher variants. It's interesting that that's snowy at so low an altitude, but it's up north, so presumably it might be a high latitude thing. Whatever. That, yeah, up there. Maybe just, I don't know. This is a fantasy world. Can't expect any kind of geographical consistency of any sort, so... Let's go and take down... Stuff in this godforsaken cave. Putrid crystallians. Fine by me. Put on the starlight. And then we have... Crystal cave boss. Two hand hats, since I don't need a torch with this funky spell that I got. Nice and early from... Was it Thops? I think it was Thops. So I... Oh, there are miners here. Hello. I... Hmm. Oh, but they're funny miners. Okay. Oh, but it's sacred right now. That will not work for me. And there... Oh, what? Okay. What is that spell? If that had killed me, I would have been very unhappy. What I might want to do right now is... How much for the next level? Around 9,000. Okay. Can I reach that? I can. Okay. Thank you, Chanting Winged Dames. Truly the best. In that case, let's... I should war, make that quality lion's claw. That should be really, really good, too. It's claw, quality, infusion, and this will... This weapon will just wreak absolute havoc on those putrid crystallians, but big thing is to remember, I'm going to need to come back here for Lusat eventually, because I'll need a key. But I won't be able to... I'll need to go to Gelmir to get Combat Azure from Primordial, Primeval Sorcery Azure, before I can do any of that, so... I hear... Weapon and Hidden Path Ahead. Okay. This attacking required a hit. Golden Rune. And then is this? Oh, wow. Okay. Huh. So I guess, how many invisible walls are in here? No good sword ahead. There's just item ahead. No. <laughs> but all these are... seem to be a bit more capable than the other sort of enslaved. Sorcerers, Glintstone Miners, and other areas, so... Hello there. I did not actually intend to get the backstab off. Didn't really want to get the backstab off, actually, but I... Wait, that's... I forgot to level up. I may be stupid. It's not a maybe. I'm just stupid. Okay. So we'll put it in Vigor. 
Get stronger that way. Okay. You know, it would have been simpler if I hadn't messed that up, but you live anywhere. She is 367, and... Hmm. I... Every little bit of durability, every little bit of durability is good to have. Okay. Come on, come on. But, a little trip to farm is what was fun. Let's get that down early. Question is, how many oyster walls are there going to be in Celia Hideaway? Can't be all that many, can there? Well, there actually could, but never mind. Voting Crystal. Consecrate Moss. That one was just for fun. Hello. Hello there. I, oh, okay. I could break that or I could jump over it, but I had to do something. So. What do you think? What do you think? The big thing is, oh, there are all revenants at the bottom, but probably better dealt with using slashing damage anyway, so... I don't really care. Sod is over. Digger's staff and that. Good stone digger sorceries. Good stone crystal tunnels. Two is a mine. Fair one better with a glint stone. Huh. Sorcerer miner. He seemed like an adult to me. And somebody is shooting something at me. I don't like that. And large glint stone scrap. Get down there, which I will eventually want to do, presumably. I would probably need to fight those royal revenants. See what's down there, but... Can I... Okay, cool. Can I... Mm, oh my, okay. Come on, you... Okay, can I kill you? Stupid, stupid. Okay. Hmm. And what else? And how could I work my way down there without risking immediate death? What if I... Can I? I did not mean to do it like that. The nice thing is, snails take good enough damage from bludgeoning too. Somehow we avoided that. That was nice. Then, hmm. To get around there, there is something there. How would I? What a hidden path and where? Get the impression that maybe there might be a hidden path in here, but we already felt the sound is the thing. Huh. Where is my hidden path? Hmm. Maybe I have to go down and fight the Revenant first. It's certainly possible. Rolling time for... Okay. Hmm. Let's go down there then. In that case, I suppose I will... Hmm. Looks like projected here would be nice, but... I guess my only option right now is going to be... Put Skullers Armin on this thing and try to kill it. Probably magic fortification, and this is annoying enough, I should buff up as much as possible right now. Playing Grant Me Strength, and why not put on Starlight too? Okay. Cool. Then we. Where is that stupid revenue? Hi, okay, and can we slam it? Okay, well, you're actually quite weak. Okay. You know, it would have been harder if I had not used as many things. Lots of Ashes of War, not bad. That buffed up so much, it might have actually just killed me. Simulating boluses and that. Build up a sleep fogginess, loss of FP, does not force into true slumber, timely fashion to avoid such an event. Okay. Yeah, because players can't really get put to sleep, they just get staggered, so. Huh. Should be something past here. I think it will loop around this way. Strong foe, try healing. Was oh, there another somber smithing stone? It's actually presumably warming me about the one back there. Okay, well, we got back around. It's just. You always end up with an oversupply of those stones and an undersupply of the others. It's kind of crazy. That down there is. How do I get down here? That's the question. There are other stuff over this way, but 
Also snails. Seems to become sick magnet into two parts. Okay. Let's take down these guys. Hello, Gwenstone Miners. Goodbye, Gwenstone Miners. And oh, okay, well, you're stronger. Doesn't matter. Just hit you more times. Then, Glowstone. Then, Budding Cave Moss. Budding Cave Moss. It's just... Honestly, I kind of feel like I might actually want to have something like Mood of Noxtella eventually. Because there aren't, just for exploration, not real boss fights, but just to know what I need to use. That would actually be pretty nice. So the boss fight should be past here, or, or not? Huh. So what's the other way then? If the well, if there is, I guess this place is just that long. That could make some sense too. Let me think. Let me think about this. How am I gonna down here? I clearly you can go down there eventually, but it okay. Die, you stupid snail. Hmm. This presumably would be. The way I got to... Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, the other side would be where the Revenant was, presumably, so... Yeah. This looks like it. Thank you. Yeah, I have been here before. It's the other side, back at the start. Yeah. Well, even if it isn't, I don't really care all that much at this point. And, okay, right here is just... This is where Wasat is, so... Okay. Using... Star Shower or something like it, but... Interesting that it was being guarded, because presumably they were sealing him away then? Sorcerer... Seal can only be broken, broken by... Seal Breaker. So, we will need to... Get back. So to speak, after... Doing the Sorcerer's Quest line and finding, finding Azure, but in that case we can put Actually, we can just put it on and hide away. Otherwise, we might get confused with Dragon Bear itself. You know, it. I really appreciate the marker feature, given that I've been doing an actual completionist playthrough. When you're actually looking for everything, it becomes an incredibly useful feature. I think taking down the Crystallians, future Crystallians will be the last thing I can really get done, but anything else over here, this is just a way back if Yeah, because that jump is I think you could probably make it, but it's treacherous. You have to jump onto something over a gap that is higher over a little bit of a distance than what you're jumping from. Okay. Move over here. Take them down. Crystal Cave Moss. Hidden Path Ahead. Is that so? Oh, wait, is Secret Passage Ahead? Oh! Okay. Huh. Oh, wow. They were right about that one here, and. So this should. Is this Crystallians, or is it. Well, it's not Crystallians. What it is is no secret passage ahead. Bunch of sorcerers, but that was interesting. These are guys I can take down with the sword. Multiple equipped would be okay, but not necessary. Two, three, four, and dodge. And, ooh, that was interesting. That's a crimson. Let's see what's in here. Sorcerer. Is oh the crystallian ashes, spirit of crystallian around crystal and blades, both big and small. It's crazy that they didn't add those as a weapon in the DLC. It's that of throwing stuff, sturdy body, hewn from crystal and hard enough to blunt opponents' blades. It's from bludgeoning weapons can shatter it easily, but I do know that they're not actually specifically weak to strike damage. It's more that strike damage tends to deal more stance damage, and it 
breaking their stance neutralizes them, more or less. But I, how am I going to get back to the other spot? Is this going to loop back, or am I just going to have to go and fight the Crystallians here now? But I presumably have to go farther down this way. Okay, the boss gate is right over there, so if there's anything else in here I can poke around. Hello, Snail. Goodbye, Snail. But I... It'd be nice if they gave me another smithing stone bell bearing here. But in cave moss... And... Hmm. Yeah, because... The scaling! You can't upgrade the meteorite staff in any way, shape, or form, but... Even then, it's really good because of the... fact that you can... Up down here from where? To that right and then hidden path. And this is where I went through, but wait, huh? Preserving boluses. And then I'm kind of getting turned around. So what part did I actually come here from? Would be over here or presumably over here then. Okay. So that led to the Side cave with its sorcerers and the crystalline ashes. And then. Ha. Yeah, well, so I'll make sure my starlight doesn't run out, but that shouldn't be a crazy problem. It's just crystallines on the other side, which means buffing my fizz damage as much as possible, as quickly as possible. Lion's Claw, and I think it'll actually be three of them all at once, which is crazy to think about, but. The only thing I should maybe need to reapply would be Flame Grammy Strength, I would presume, so try back and see Crystal. That's a good message. Yeah, okay. So then it's just these guys and that'll be all. Nothing over here, and then right, we gotta remember Lassat for later when it comes back around. These spirit collar snails do not call spirits. Foggy, really. Also, the grab attack, which is kind of crazy and apparently very brutal looking. Sort of grab on you and just, you know, try to eat you like a, like a snail would, but still. Put that on. Put that on. Put that on. Put this on. Oh, but it's a body buff, so it'd be incompatible with flame grant me, probably, so go in, do this, can I, mm -hmm. okay, alright okay then, future crystallians, let's do this can I, oh, well oh my goodness, I, okay, can I alright, come on slam, and just, can I there we go, and just break, one two, and this was the most threatening one by far, and now it's dead alright, thank you can I, mm -hmm. Can I? Thanks, and alright. Well, at least they're not all that threatening, so thank you. One, and two, and just another slam. Oh, but the rot buildup is a little annoying. Thank you, and can we Let's do that a couple more times? Yeah. This is silly. Okay, well, we don't need to use another. Then more hit, let's just do a charge, heavy attack, and there we go, nice. Simple. They're a bit less aggressive, too. Good balance, given that there were three of them. Crystal Torn, and that's kind of like Comet Azure. Mysterious Crystallians, Mesa Crystal, fires off shards in rapid succession. Hold the continue firing shards, Wrath of Crystallians, encapsulating sorcery. Shard is of substantial size, making even a stream well capable of inflicting a severe wound. And I... Cannot cast that right now. Uh, even we got the rune effects. So even if I use a talisman, that take me to twenty nine. Don't have access to the one that boosts. Could take it to forty four using intelligence knot, and then with a vengeance after that. But I don't have the pure intelligence boosting talismans, so not much I really can do at the moment. Well, I don't really need it. And after all, like I said, magic damage is not amazing most of the time. Well, I could try it on 
some Falling Star Beasts, actually, in Crystal Door it might be better than Comet Azure for that in that case, but... So in that case, yeah, next time would just be Red Main Castle, the Desert, and then maybe a good portion of Dragon Barrow. It's not that big. But I like to log off in Round Table Hold. It is my house and hearth, so... A good amount did get accomplished today. Even if I'm... You know what? Better safe than sorry. I could buy three Renorks here. I may as well. Unless I bought them already, which is also very possible. Let's see. I may end up looking like an idiot. So the guy and... Wait, not him? Wait. Rune Arcs from... Rune Arc... Bought from... Bought from... Northern Your Bellum Church. Okay, right. Don't think I bought those. Buy a couple more Rune Arcs real quick. Clear that out. Remembrance Duplication. Not my problem right now. That's where Hyatta was. But she has moved on to Altus, so will not be here for the time being. Okay. Hello, hello. There you are. Can you give me what I want? Can you give me what I want? Come on. Don't want to have to kill you. Okay, cool. So now we're at four. So, it's all there. Most of Kaled is done, so... Wherever this will take us. Only thing left is clearing out Redmain Castle and then going to Blight or to Iji to start the Redon Festival. And then we kill Redon. So we're with help and then go to the dungeon, go to Dragon Barrow, kill Ancient Dragon. I mean, Older Dragon Grail, go to the tower. Dragon Bear is a bit early for this point in the game, but then also. So the question would be, would Nocron be? Nocron. Eternal City. I any bosses in there? Locations. Regal Ancestor Spirit is 24,000 and... I would probably be better off going to Nokron down here. Dropping down from the Mistwood. Then I would going to Dragon Barrow immediately after Radon. So that is probably what I'll do. Go to Nokron, do Ronnie's quest line, go through Dragon Barrow. I guess the question is, is still natural born of the void. Now that does draw more than Grail, so maybe Nokron, Nook Stella, Dragon Barrow, then Lake of Rot, and then it would take me to Moonlight Altar over there for the inner Ronnie's quest line, but those are all silly hypotheticals at this point. I'll play that crap by ear. But yeah, it'll be in a couple days I'll come back and finish up. Redman Castle, sort of first half, first part of Caleb, first two thirds through fourths of Caleb, really, and then do more stuff, Just get everything that I can do before going to Altus done, which would probably also mean maybe going through most of deeper depths too, which is kind of crazy, but it's neither here nor there, so Sanaragon, thank you.